because I ran those two ad breaks like that very close together, we're not going to have an ad break for over an hour. So we're going to get a full hour of uh, no pre-rolls, no, uh, no regular ads. It's going to be great. All right, let's get moving, shall we? Man, I love Twitch Prime. Also, if you don't like advertisements, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you will never see ads. So consider that another benefit among the many others you get, such as uh, my eternal adoration and recognition, uh, your cute frog emotes, as well as like the role of the check mark in the Discord server. And also just the pride and accomplishment of uh, spending money. <laughs> I sound like EA. Yo, Wick, thank you for the 13 months as well. I appreciate it. It's up, Mandel. Hope you're doing well. Non-subs, grovel at my feet and I will consider verifying you on Frog Family Discord. Sheesh. Damn, somebody's in a... Somebody's in a, a, a dominant mood today. <laughs> Erm, um, what the scallop? <laughs> Somebody got their paycheck today. Ah! Ah, okay, that makes more sense. Now it all makes sense. Well, if you ask... <laughs> if you ask Flower Toddler for a subscription very nicely, they may give you one. The job attempt did not go well for me. Ah, oh, did you get bad RNG? Or just say, do it, bitch, and I'll probably do it. Yo, Flower Toddler really gives up to Bob. Bob. Boba. Baba. Boo Booba. Yo, also with the gifts of the member of chat as well. Bob the Builder. Can he fix it? Yes, he can. Hey, what's up, Marks? How you doing? Yeah, what's up, Sophia? What's up, Eden? Yo, also with the gift sub to Satire Streams. Thank you. How's everyone's day going? Uh, my day's going pretty good. I'm tired. But that's, I'm always tired. I'm gonna try, chat, I'm going to try my best to get sleep over this weekend, okay? Are y'all proud of me? I'm gonna do my best to try to get some rest. Mike White. It, he's not playing tomorrow, is he? Wait a minute, there's a Jaguars game tomorrow, isn't there? Wait, I'm going to that, aren't I? Wait. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, then I definitely gotta get a good night's sleep tonight. Are you going? We have season tickets. <laughs> Why sub to Shay when you can get a, a, a bad blocker for free? I, I don't think that's what you meant to type. Uh, I don't know, to show your support for the streamer who uh, provides you free content. Uh, that you enjoy consuming. And maybe, and maybe not actually being rude for real. 
No, you're not allowed to make money off of your job. You are here to dance for me and entertain me for free, peasant. You are the court jester. You are now manually opening your wa opening your wallet to get your credit card. Forfeit all of your mortal possessions to <laughs> streamer. Yes, do it. I used to use AdBlock then to become a YouTuber. Now suddenly I don't like it anymore. My compromise for that is that I just bought YouTube Premium. <laughs> now I don't get ads, and I still support my content creators. If only Twitch had a service like that. Oh, wait a minute, they do. Twitch Turbo still exists, and you still get ad-free viewers. Or, uh, complete ad-free viewership all across the website if you use Twitch Turbo. It still exists. I don't know, they just don't advertise it very much. But it's still a thing. Is premium any better than normal YouTube? I mean, it gets rid of ads. Now, here, I'm biased because I got six months of YouTube Premium for free. And then I just decided to keep it around because it was like $10 a month. And I was like, okay, whatever. I watch enough YouTube to where I can justify this. Also, uh... What was I going to say? Uh, YouTube Premium also uh, lets you use YouTube as a music player on your phone. It doesn't, like, stop if you tab out of it. That's a premium feature for some reason, but it is very nice, because I do that. Oh my god. Someone bragged to me about the fact that they use Adblock on my eight hour long video that took several months of my life to complete. Ah, yes. No, you must provide me my content for free. You are not allowed to accept any sort of compensation for this. Get, get on, start dancing. <laughs> YouTubers exist solely for my entertainment, nothing else. Don't you know? I do want to say, though, I just want to point it out that uh, as far as ad revenue goes on Twitch, uh, it's pretty much based off of viewership. If people use ad blockers here, it actually does not harm my revenue that much. Uh, now, I'm not allowed to name any specific ad blockers because that's against toss, um, but... Just saying, like, when you subscribe, I, I get more off of su uh, subscriptions than I do uh, ad revenue. To put it, to put it that way. Why is there a no audio badge? Uh, there's a no audio and no visual badge for people who want to signify that they're not, like, listening. Hey, what's up, Snazzy MB? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it doesn't really, it doesn't matter to me that much. If people, there, there's many f free workarounds to not get ads, and it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. If you do that, it's, it's okay. I understand. I get it. I really, I completely do. The whole ad, the whole like ad uh, incentive thing is. Mostly exclusively dependent on viewership and how many people uh, the ads are being broadcast to, so. There is a reason I do take those op those deals, though, those, like, uh, incentive offers. They do kind of help uh, stabilize my uh, income just a little bit. Because, you know, subscriptions come and go. Like, there will be months where I make a lot off subs when people come in and drop, like, hundreds of gift subs. But then there's some months, like, this past one hasn't exactly been the most, like, uh, action-packed month of my streaming career.
Yo, Delta, thank you for the 10 months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your frog emotes for another month. Some of average is a thousand views, but ninety percent of those are sub. They won't get as much. Um. Well, I mean, they'll still get a lot from the subscriptions. But the incentive offers that Twitch gives aren't all of your ad revenue. You get your regular ad revenue. The incentive is like a bonus, essentially. For uh. Yeah, you get prorated pay for just streaming a certain amount of hours with the ads manager turned on. It actually does, you get that yeah. so long as you stream Ten enough, months. uh, nice. oh, right. as long as you stream enough, uh, hours, right? It actually doesn't matter if people watch the ads or not. It's based off your viewer numbers and how many hours you stream out of the incentive total. Like, I think my recent incentive, and I can talk about this, I'm allowed to, uh, was, uh, I want to say 82 hours this month. So if I stream for all 82 of those hours, I'll get the bonus. It, does, it didn't matter if literally everybody in my entire stream was subscribed or was using an ad blocker and nobody actually saw the ads. I still get the bonus. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to explain it in the best way possible. Certified Ligma. Thank you, Cyan. But yes, in order to get those incentive bonuses, you do have to have Twitch's auto ad manager playing. That is part of the agreement, which is why I don't control when my ads play. They play every 30 minutes. I don't manually start them. I mean, I can, but usually I don't. It's a minute and 30 seconds every 30 minutes, uh, which keeps pre-rolls completely disabled. Oh, and it despawned. Wait a minute. I'm a god. <laughs> what the fuck? I despawned Snowdrake. <laughs> By accident. Uh, I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass, by the way. I don't think I actually I think we might see something very unique. Yeah, okay, here's the lesser dog. I think we're about to see something really unique, chat. I think we're about to see the very rare Snowdrake appearing in um in a triple formation encounter. You don't like almost ever see this in speedruns. Here we go. Oh wait, yo, the rare this single ice cap. What the fuck? I'm trying to deduce if I saved time doing that or not. I think it actually did save me time. <laughs> Cause it's, <laughs> it was one less turn. I traded out a turn for like a three second grind. Hi, Shay Uwu. Hi, Baked Royal. How you doing, cutie? Hope you're doing well. If you got literally all doubles from this point, you wouldn't kill Snowdrake and you would fail. That's true, but the odds of that happening are, uh... There it is! The rare 
fucking Snow Drake and Jerry encounter. Dude, we literally never see this in speedruns. Let's go. Alright, we're good. Shay didn't say hi to me. Hi, Starlight. How are you doing? How are you doing, lovely? I hope you are having a great day. Say hi, do it. Yes, ma'am. It's a bright loon. Hope you're doing well. Shay, hi say hi to me. No, I don't think I will. Sorry, I only speak to subscription gifters. Thank you very much. You don't have five dollars? <laughs> you don't have five dollars? <laughs> I'm unfollowing your life. Reset your life, kid. <laughs> it's a V. Chilzy, I hope you're doing wonderful. Yo, Sylvie, hope you're doing well. Which is the family ending? Family is like the true pacifist uh, neutral ending. Where like everybody is there. God. I, 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 you know, I'm pretty sure like articles have come out reporting that that whole thing was like a publicity stunt. The whole like, you don't have five dollars thing. Like if you know what I'm talking about, it's that one streamer who like made like acted like they were extremely entitled. I worry sometimes that like, I, I do bits about that a lot, right? Like I kind of do it as a bit. I, I kind of worried that like someone's first interaction with me, with me as a streamer is me like joking around about sub begging. And somebody will be like, wow, this guy's fucking entitled. I'm like, no, I'm doing it as a joke, I promise. I am not entitled to literally anything from my audience. I am just happy to be here, to be honest. So someone definitely thought that. There's probably at least one person. You are fucking entitled. Prepare to be in a moist critical video. Damn. Uh, so here we have this streamer. His name's Shay. Uh, this guy, you know, he made a joke one time, uh, about how he deserves, uh, all of his, uh, viewers to give him a million subs. And then he got, like, really fucking pissed, baby, when they didn't. Um, this guy, honestly, solid 1 out of 10 on the moist meter. Not a very moist streamer. Definitely kind of a, a, a big fucking loser. I gotta respect it though, that guy has a pretty big cock. It's one of the bigger ones I've seen, probably. Hey, what's up, Aspen? I've seen streamers who think that using your own- I've run into that before! Yeah, I've had somebody get mad at me for using my, my own emotes. And they, they thought I was self-advertising. First of all, my stream is fucking 15 times bigger than yours. You think I'm really going to a small stream to self-advertise? Get out of here. <laughs> Give yourself a reality check. Second, I like my emotes. I paid money for those to be drawn. <laughs> I wouldn't be using them if I didn't like them. <laughs> I use my emotes because I like the way my emotes look. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've had people have that, uh, do that. I, I, well, not people. One person. There was one streamer who got mad at me for it, and I left. Uh, they had about 11 viewers, so. 
Uh, don't think if they're gonna treat their viewers like that that they're gonna do very well on the platform. I'm not gonna lie to just be completely brutally honest I was very sleepy and I act extremely drunk when I'm sleepy tired you were I didn't know you could use Tundra and Agony to farm P. What? What? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean by that? <laughs> the double sword machine fight? Yeah, but like, farm what? Is this supposed to be points? The shot point. Oh! Why do you need to farm shot points? Just play Cyber Grind! <laughs> I had more than enough to paint every single one of my weapons, and I have I still have like a million. Why do you stop at 13? Uh, because if you kill- if you exhaust the Snowden kill count, uh, the punch card salesman disappears. That's why in all major endings glitchless, we did that instead. We did exactly what you, uh, you're suggesting, which is that we kill all 16 and then instant spare Papyrus for the Papyrus ending. Because you don't need to get the punch card in glitchless. Uh, but the punch card salesman does not appear if you wipe the Snowden kill count. So we do 13, which gets us bulked up as much as possible. I want to commission some stuff once I have income. Yeah. You know, I'm glad I commissioned emotes. They're really good. Uh, Mewtwo did a great job drawing all of them. All of my, uh, all of my regular emotes, my non-animated ones, uh, other than two of them, Mewtwo drew all of those for me. She's a very talented artist and a good friend of mine. And then, uh, all my animated emotes were drawn by Soul Silver. But yeah. Attacking. I've had people like that before, Sylvie, for sure. I remember uh, I wanted to commission a couple of friends of mine back in the day, and they were like, well, I don't think I deserve money for my art, and I'm like, take m give me your PayPal. <laughs> Let me pay you. <laughs> Oh, I did- <laughs> Fuck, I did the funny thing. <laughs> nice battle box. It seems a little wider than it's supposed to be on the right. I wonder what's going on with that. I bought a metalcore album yesterday. Call that Black Friday. <laughs> Count black. 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 That's a star. How you doing, my love?
Count Black is cool? He is. Yo, Star with a 34 months. Hello. Hi. Thanks for the 34, babe. It's up North Track. Yeah, it's up spring day. We just walked past the Omocat turtle. Omocat turtle? Toidle. I, I can't movement. My movement is bad. Oh, what is this? <laughs> well, that just happened. X3, X3, X3. Game Freak is a real one for putting high-level Chansey in the final area. The best place to grind, from what I understand, is going out to where the flower field is, and then using, like, a sandwich to increase normal-type spawn rates, because it's literally just Chansey. <laughs> I keep forgetting Undertale lets you touch walls. Yeah, you can touch walls in this game. It is not Deltas Rune. Who is ready for Gaster? Damn, he didn't show up. EBS. The one and only EBS still left in AMA. If you don't know what EBS stands for, it means early ballet shoes. Also, as a consequence, we now have two punch cards instead of one. It's up, Sir Sand. Hope you're doing well. Yo, what's up, Oro? Yeah, so basically the way that early ballet shoes works is that you, uh... You buy two punch cards. Uh, you take one out of the box, and then you use the first punch card to overflow the choicer to get the punch card, which overflows into the ballet shoes. Damn, I started that way back. As a consequence, you get two punch cards. Which is kind of cool. It's nice job security if you accidentally rip your first one. But, uh, you know, I would never rip the punch card in a speedrun. That's just it's preposterous. What would you take me for? Yo, I'm gonna leave a bit earlier. Have good luck, have fun with the runs, and enjoy your day, community. Thank you, Chilsey. You have a good night. What's the story behind that? What story? There is no story. The only story we should be worried about here is whoa, 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 whoa. Story of Undertale. What? <laughs> How did I get to the st- What? How did I get to stat there, huh? <laughs> uh, you said enjoy your gay community? No, day community, but it's also not incorrect. How many subs to watch Story of Undertale again? At least 100. <laughs> I don't torture myself for free. Hey, done. Thanks for the good luck. 
I could probably say I haven't watched that. Ah, oh, God, I wish I was you. Go faster? Ah, allow me to simply speed the game functions up. Hold on. I got you. One second. Yeah, Toby. Yeah, 1.14. Yeah, the run button. Yeah, you can go ahead and patch it now. We're good. It's already... Okay, gotcha. Sorry. There might be an Undertale patch coming out today. I just called the big man himself. Piles of garbage, there are a few brands that you recognize. What's that? There's a copy of Metroid Other M in this garbage pile. That's interesting. What am I doing? Wrong way. We're not there yet. Are you ever gonna return to true pacifist glitchless? Uh, do I need to? I'm not sure if- I'm frankly not sure if I want to run against my PB. That run is kind of cracked. Did you actually call him or this is a bit? No, I did not actually call Toby Fox. I don't have Toby Fox's number. Oh, I have to take damage there. Uh, come on. This is so base. No, I don't have Toby Fox's phone number. I know, I know. Is there a reason you don't do MDS? We can't save. My dad works at Toby Fox. True. All right, if everybody could just turn up their volume real quick, there's a really cool sound glitch here. If everybody could just, you have to listen really carefully to hear it though. Aspen, what's the second part of your name? What is ECT? I'm curious. Is it like a pun on aspect? I love the punch card. I love punch card. All my homies love punch card. I love punch card. The punch card is my religion, chat. I 
I see. I get it. You can spare that. To me. Tub tub. Whatever happened to Temtem? -tem? I feel like everybody used to be talking about Temtem. -tem. Like it was cons everybody was constantly talking about it, and then it just fell off the face of the planet. What happened to that? Do any of you know how the Osu game went? I'm assuming you're talking about not the game of Osu. I'm assuming you're talking about the Ohio State University. They got fucking destroyed. Those frauds got exposed on a national audience and it was glori glorious. Michigan destroyed those frauds. Get them out of here. Beat him by three scores. It is one dining time. It's killing time. Oh, Temtem got microtransactions. Yep, that'll do it. Listen, if it's one good thing we don't have to worry about, since Pokemon likes to pretend it's 15 years in the past from any given moment, uh, we're, we're not gonna have to worry about Pokemon microtransactions until like 2035. Pokemon F N and Pokemon F version. With Pokemon T version coming out very soon. Aren't some car companies adding microtransactions to unlock higher acceleration? That's not some companies, that's just Tesla. Oh, Mercedes is doing it, too. Yeah, I don't really get that, because isn't the expensive part of the high acceleration, like, you having to manufacture the engine that's capable of doing it? Isn't it a little weird to have it part, like... If the expensive part is manufacturing the engine that has the power to accelerate quickly, it doesn't make sense for all of them to have that and just be locked off. They have car DLC now. It's a, it's a little ridiculous. Hell world. I love that one, uh, that one fucking joke in that one video that Shu made that was the, uh, your Amazon smart fridge has detected problematic posts from your character dating back to September 15th, 2012. You will no longer be able to access your groceries at this time. <laughs> I can't stay for long because I have to eat. Okay, Speed. Have fun eating. I need to take some damage here. Cool, there we go. Hey, what's up, Marzi? How are you doing? I like to speak to the person who decided decided that Zelwellia should evolve at level 64. That's true. And that Volcarona evolves at level fucking it's 59.
What's weird is like, I'm fine with the high level evolutions if the game is made around that, but black and white weren't. You can't even get high Drygon by, by the final boss. So it's like, what, what's the point of that? Getsis uses a high Dragon, but they had to cheat it to be 10 levels lower than it's supposed to be. I didn't get to deliver the Corvette I mentioned, so they sent me home early because no work. Here's 34 cents, because it's my remaining bids. Thank you, MCB. I appreciate it. Also, Aaron till 32. Wait, Aaron really doesn't evolve until level 32? I thought it evolved into Agron at, like, level, like, 38. <laughs> I thought Air I thought Layeron was like level like twenty six or something like that. Or like thirty or something. You don't get Aeron until like level eighteen anyway, so could be work. Frisk doesn't evolve at all. Yeah, that's true. Very cursed wrong warp there. Gone for a bit to try to learn a new card game. I left after I listened to the explanation, still don't understand you. Pure Fist, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream, bud. It is too dark to see near the walls. It is. It's so dark. It's dark, dark, yet darker. The darkness keeps on growing. Photon readings negative. This next experiment seems very, very interesting. What do you two think? Can you fight Undyne at Sans' stand and kill her right in front of Sans? Yes. You can. He doesn't react. Who are you talking to? Oh, just the Void. You get it an emerald at 7, 8. Wait, really? Wait, where can you get Aeron at 7 and 8? I thought you didn't get Aeron until, like, the deeper part of uh, the Flash Cave. Granite Cave? It Only level 8? I thought that level was, that area was, like, level 15. Am I tripping? I've been playing too many raw max. <laughs> Hello. Me when overflows. Seven to eight. Huh. Interesting. I got sent home from work today because there was no work. Kind of pissed. I got no money, but still wasted three hours driving on the bus. I'm sorry. That sucks. God, I wish I could fly over lava by just looking at a card. Yeah, true. get up to 12. Okay. That sounds about right. Flames Heatsman? That's not correct. It's Heats Flamesman. Come on. You don't even remember his name? He tells you to remember his name and you're telling me you forgot his name? Even after his dramatic death scene in the bed lump mod.
I can't believe Maxine really put that in. They are crazy. It's just a gag item for a free ice cream and it breaks the whole game. Yep. Mm hmm. It's how these things typically go. <laughs> I love it when joke items in games accidentally break the entire fabric of reality. One of my favorite things when that games do is taking like something terrible, like an item that has no use and giving just randomly giving it like one important function. Like Zelda has a tradition of uh, having the final boss be weak to the worst items. Like, it's always been tradition that you can, like, play tennis with Ganondorf with, like, the bug net or the bottle. I like, uh, in, they kept that alive even in Skyward Sword because the, uh, the bug net. <laughs> if you pull out the bug net, Demise stops attacking, and I think that's really funny. <laughs> He cannot comprehend the power. In Twilight Princess, you can re you can reflect Phantom Zelda's uh, you can reflect her tennis volleys with the bottle. It's it's pretty hard in that game because the hitbox isn't that big, but it's fun. All right, good night, or not good night, but have fun at work, buddy. Take care of yourself. What about Breath of the Wild? Uh, isn't there something you can do with a mop? I, I vaguely remember something with a mop. Yes, I'm aware of the re uh, the reload thing in Fallout New Vegas. My friend Banana speedruns Fallout New Vegas. Uh, he was explaining it and all and showing it to me. That the revolver animation, you can start reloading it, and then it tries to shift your position, and you if you pause at the right moment, you, the momentum doesn't get unreset, so you just fling off in a direction. I think that's incredible. Speaking of him, uh, you can find him doing a Fallout speedrun in this upcoming AGDQ. This is a good friend of mine. We play Counter-Strike together a bunch. I think he's speedrunning Fallout 3, if I remember correctly. It's either 3 or New Vegas, I can't remember. Club. Hmm. Yes, there's a great video about that. Uh, that gymnast made called uh, the the, uh, the Zelda speedrun where we look at rupees for 12 hours. But yeah, due to a floating point error, I believe, uh, in the animation loop, uh, if you open a chest and it's rupees, Link will uh, 
because of an incorrect uh, floating point thing in his animation loop, he'll slowly, very slowly shift backwards. And uh, since his collision isn't dis enabled, <laughs> you can use that to uh, do some crazy stuff. But it takes like 12 hours. <laughs> After all, we do build up speed for 12 hours. Hit up, Sui Tough. Did somebody give subs? Uh, I squiggly dropped the sub bomb a couple of streams ago. Pleb is a baller, I agree. Let me tell you that Pleb is exactly in real life as you'd expect them to be. Why do you love most about Metaton? Chat, why do you love most about Metaton? Ooh, we get a Metatas here if this kills. Please? Oh yeah! Ha ha! No Disco! Disco's fucking dead, baby! <laughs> also, Metaton's right arm, do not question what it is doing at the moment. Uh, it's currently making an literally an impossible maneuver. We killed Disco. Disco's dead. The 60s are gone. Long live prog rock, baby. Let's go! I'm refraining from making an unfunny joke. Progressive rock, not progression rock. Not that kind of prog. I know exactly what joke you were gonna make, Mitsu. I'm inside your head. My favorite Pink Floyd album, Black Wings. 343 in my decks, you're nice. I think mine's at like 250. Not really. Progressive rock implies the existence of conservative rock. Well, yeah, why do you think a bunch of conservative boomers all listen to the Beatles? Duh. <laughs> progressive rock implies the existence of regressive rock. Regressive rock. Uh, hmm. Isn't that just country music? I'm sorry if I've offended anybody in my chat who listens to country music, but uh, the fortunate thing is, is that nobody actually listens to country music, so I don't have to worry about offending anybody. Opinion on the Beach Boys? It's, they're the Beach Boys. I mean, it's classic, but it's not really what I go to listen to. It's not my cup of tea. I am offended because I actually do listen to country music. Old country music or new country music? This is very important. 
This question will decide your fate. Is Little Nas X still country? No. I, I, no. If that's what country music is now, then that ain't country music. That's it, much closer to pop than it is country. I like Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash has a, you know, he is, he is the voice. Songs about fighting the devil or songs about owning an F-250? Johnny, rosin up your bow and play your fiddle hard. Cause hell's broke loose in Georgia and the devil deals it hard. And if you win, you get this shiny fiddle made of gold. But if you lose, the devil gets your soul. The devil opened up his case and said, I'll start this show. And fire flew from his fingertips as he rolled up his bow. He pulled his finger across the string and it made an evil hiss. Then a band of demons joined in and it sounded something like this. Dude, I love the Guitar Hero 3 version of that. That they made into like a seven minute long solo duel for the for one of the boss fights. So good. Apparently the original creator of the song does not agree. He hates all of the covers. Cope. <laughs> hey, what's up, Abby? Thank you for the good luck. Dolly Parton? Dolly Parton has a banger theme park. Dollywood kind of slaps, bro. Did you wait for the text box? Fucking god damn it, not again. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, what's up, Mighty Q? Love the vibes? Thank you. I try to keep it calm here. Well, that's another 50 seconds I'm not getting back. That's okay, I made the same mistake yesterday and it didn't really matter, so... Hey, what's up, Park Tanya? Been watching you for a few months? No. Hope you've been enjoying lurking. Yo, good night, Delta. Have a good sleep. Hope you have sweet dreams. Are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Thank you for the warm welcome. Yeah, welcome aboard. Hope you're having a great one. It doesn't... I had to say something, didn't I? I was gonna say it doesn't matter when I'm a fucking god and just get Tazgors, but, uh... <laughs> you know, everything, sometimes things happen. I'm not sure if you can Tazgore at 11, actually, so that might have still been one. I'm, I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the specific damage numbers. How do I have timing as good as you? Uh, practice. If you're talking about my quads, that is five years of practice right there. Watch this. Perfect. Oh, banger load. Hi everyone, thank you for a warm welcome. Yeah. Appreciate you stopping by.
Morbius is a 2022 American superhero film based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name, produced by Columbia Pictures in association with Marvel. Distributed by Sony Pictures Releasing, it is the third film in, Spiders in Sony's Spider-Man Universe, SSU. Directed by Daniel Espinosa and written by Matt Sazama and Burke Sharpless, it stars Jared Leto as Dr. Michael Morbius alongside Matt Smith, Ad Adria Arjona, Jared Harris, Al Madrigal, and Tyrese Gibson. Did Morbius exist before the movie Morbius? Morbius is a Spider-Man villain from the comics. It is surprising to me that that's apparently not well known, but yes, they did he's not an original character. He was a villain. He's part of Spider-Man's Rogues Gallery. With uh Except he wasn't very memorable, so he never got any film adaptations. You know, he, he's not like he's not Doc Ock or Rhino or Electro or the Green Goblin. He's not even Sandman. He's definitely not Venom. <laughs> He's not even Kingpin! <laughs> it would have been funny if more of his original character, yeah. But he says that he's Venom in the movie. Wrong! He doesn't say that in the... <laughs> yeah, he does say that in the movie, doesn't he? He only says half of the line in the movie, though. In the trailer, he says the full line, but they cut it out of the movie. The trailer has, like, half of the trailer isn't even in the movie. It's so weird. Speaking of movies, uh, did anybody actually see the new Jurassic Park movie? I only got to see half of it on my flight back from New Jersey, and I thought it was okay. Was it any good? I heard it was very stupid. The plot of it definitely was silly. I mostly was watching for funny spectacle. Uh, I thought the blind dinosaur was super cool though. The like the the blind one with the claws. That was that was that was definitely like a, a cool set piece. They didn't have to explain anything either. They just showed. There wasn't a single word of dialogue uttered during that portion, and that's why it was the best part of the movie. I don't know. I watched up until, like, they escaped. Uh, and then I didn't have any more flight left. I, uh... I, my suspension of disbelief kind of disappeared when I saw Chris Pratt's character uh, get knocked into ice, freezing cold water, and then pull himself... Or not, he didn't pull himself out, but he gets out of the water and starts running perfectly normally right afterwards. Brother should be in fucking shock from hypothermia. <laughs> what about the good dinosaur? What about the good dinosaur? The good dinosaur is a tech demo. It is an extremely pretty film uh, with literally no substance at all. It's very pretty, but you can tell the movie's just a tech demo. I mean, he's gorgeous, but jeez. I miss when Pixar was, like, firing on all cylinders. When I was growing up, it felt like every single Pixar movie released was a total banger. Except for Cars 2. We ignore that one. But... You know, I was growing up and we got like Wally -E and Toy Story and Toy Story 2 and Ratatouille and Up and it's like, wow, Finding Nemo, The Incredibles is like, geez, they, they, they can't stop bumping out bangers. Right, gang? I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer, chat. 
I have faith. Trust the system. Trust the process. Trust the process. What is left and right referring to? Uh, in that soul phase, that purple soul phase, um, uh, the act button can come from the left or right side. It's a 50-50. Uh, and a couple of years ago, when I was grinding for partner, I was thinking of ways to increase chat interactivity in order to increase my amount of viewers so that I would stay above the average threshold for partner. So I decided to get people involved in declaring whether or not they believed in left or right gang. Also, we have an auto ad coming up uh, in just a second here. You're not going to miss much. It's just flowy. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, and it sort of became a thing that has infected the entire Undertale speedrun community. In fact, now we start doing uh, polls on whether or not it's going to be left or right gang. Also, what's up, Lucky Tail? Hope you're doing well. Six, seven, eight. That was good. All right, final phase. One, two, three, counting to 12 with Shay. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the reason we pause on number 13 there is because when the music drops, your damage rolls increase by a, a lot. Uh, you get a huge boost to your damage. Uh, so we want to wait until the very last moment so that number 13 hits as soon as it drops and we get the damage boost and then we can immediately follow up with an attack right after. It uh, basically, uh, yeah, it guarantees, pretty much all but guarantees that you'll get a uh, quick kill, which is awesome. Later, Bozo. All right, good out, spam chat. Cease your spamming. It is over. There's no more owls to be had. I'm so glad we've kept the owl spam tradition alive. Getting glue ball no longer happens. I remember people used to, people in TGH's chat used to compete on who could get global the fastest. Hi, OBS. That was funny. Wait, there's a Joel Pride? Flowey. 
flower die. Peter, the horse is here. Sand! Okay. Sure. Peter, the horse is here. <laughs> okay, that's ending number one. Now we get to get Alfie's ending, which is aborted genocide. So we're going to finish Geno now up to core and take a save, and then we're going to get that ending. Peter, way to go. Thank you, Salamancer. I appreciate that. Triple, please. <laughs> well, that's not what I wanted. That's okay. That's okay. As long as we get a triple here, everything is fine, chat. Do not panic. Peter. The horse is here. Come on, baby. Yes! Woo! That's what we've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! It was a misinput! It was a misinput! We're going to lose a lot of time in this ending, by the way. <laughs> Just a heads up. Peter. The horse is here. <laughs> you calm the fuck down. You calm the fuck down. It was a misinput. It was a misinput. It was a misinput. He's taking his cock out. <laughs> NME glitchless when NME what is NME no major endings AME oh AME glitchless chat did you know I have a YouTube channel you can go to it by typing exclamation point YouTube Wouldn't it be really crazy if my most recently uploaded video was AME glitchless? <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> my six hour AME glitchless run. <laughs> yes, but when will you run it again? When I have the, I don't know. All it takes is one bad day. All it takes is one bad day, chat. <laughs> I have been enlightened for all these years. I thought Parm wasn't that good. I'm so sorry. I I'm just sorry that you've lived your whole life without Parmesan. I'm, I'm a dearest apologies, to be honest. How's the run going? So far, so good. Uh, I forgot to talk to Sans again, so we're losing time in this ending again. I made the literal same mistake I made last night. It's so easy to forget. It's so fucking good, like the nuttiness. Mm hmm. You could say it's pretty nutty.
I won't stay because it's midnight. All right, Vinta, you have a good one. I'm sorry, wait a minute. Is Vinta Glix, is Glix, is Vinta Geeks the legendary Deltarune speedrunner not subscribed to my Twitch channel? War crimes. You don't have five dollars? You have so many hours to watch me, you don't have five dollars? That is a joke, by the way. I don't expect anything from my chat. I'm just making a bit out of the people who feel entitled for it. Okay, we're all on the same page? Good. Smooth, slightly salty, and nutty. Stop. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Back from Costco. Welcome back, Ray. How good the runs? Uh, well, just the run. I hope there's not going to be multiple runs. I don't think I have the energy for two AMEs back to back two days in a row. Why'd you boot up Morrowind? Also, that's from Oblivion, not Morrowind. Could be the Skyrim one. Wait, I know you. My favorite thing to do in Skyrim is whenever a guard pulls you over and says, wait, I know you, you just back out of the text prompt and walk away. <laughs> I think it's really funny that they let you do that. We're on all, of it, all in agreement that I didn't just do that, right? We're all in agreement. <laughs> that is the third time in a row that I've tried to wrong warp there. Ugh. Casper's punch card. Schrodinger's punch card. Bro, I just skipped the fuck out of Casper, alright? Casper the friendly jo ghost just got skipped. Unfortunately, we don't have the punch card, so I can't do goblin skip here, which is unfortunate. Real knife, nah, punch card, yes sir. Correct opinion. What's the no king ending? Uh, there's no king. That's the ending where uh, all of the leaders are killed and at least five or more on your kill count. There's actually two variations of No King, but you only have to get one. Uh, there's actually two No King endings, though. There's the one with uh, five or more, and then there's the one with 20 or more. Uh, the 20 or more one is a little bit more depressing. That's the funny one where Sans tells you to go to hell. Down with the monarchy! Yeah, thank God it's called No King ending and not No Queen ending. Otherwise, though, I might have not been able to stream this category. Ah, oh, fuck, that's mean. Shit. Ah. Oh. oh, no. Fuck. But yeah, if you kill, uh, if your kill count is five or more, Antoriel, Papyrus, Undyne, and Metaton are all dead, then you'll get the No King ending. If Toriel, Papyrus, Metaton, and Undyne are all dead, and your kill count is exactly four, then you'll get Dog ending instead.
I would just like to point out that the existence of dog ending implies that the canonical best ending for Undertale is the one in which Papyrus, Toriel, and Undyne, and Metaton all die. <laughs> What's up, Daniel J? Hey, what's up, ACP? You're up early. I just walked into the bicycle. Why is dog ending the best ending? They even say it's the best ending. They say somehow this is the best turn of events. Toby Fox endorses murder. You heard it here first, folks. Time to cancel him. That's morbid. Morb? Shay wanted that bicycle cussy. Damn, Bob wanted that <laughs> two second timeout. Fake Reddit post? Okay, I vaguely remember a fake Toby Fox Reddit post. What was it about? I don't even remember. people on screen, Twitter screaming at the people who thought Dream looks like to Dream does not look like Toby Fox. They're not even like the same fucking... What? what? Oh, I remember that, Salamencer. I do remember that now. That was like people saying that I looked like Dream. They were like, Shay, you look like Dream. I was like, congratulations, you have found a white boy with dark hair. I know, very rare species, uh, not commonly seen. Hey, what's up, Fefe? Amity said that I have the hair color of Dream. You're blonde! It's not even close to the same color. <laughs> even I, certified face blind and neurodivergent, can tell the difference between a dog and a cheetah. <laughs> Okay, that got me. That was a good joke. That was good. Well, well done. Yeah, it's up fishy. It's up indie. <laughs> Cheetah, the horse is here. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that game dev thing now. That now that you mentioned, I do remember and people thought it was Toby Fox for some reason. Like, bro, are you kidding me? First of all, even if it was, why would it matter? His that is his personal life.
Yeah, it's up, Abella. Hope you're doing well. All right, I'm here to announce it. I'm Toby Fox. That's right, me. Toby Fox is just an algorithm. In 2006, I went online and I, at the age, at the age of seven, Genius Shay wrote an algorithm that tried to create a Tumblr sexy man. However, it mutated and started doing things on its own. And then for some reason it started making music for Homestuck. You know, I'd love to see Twitter try to cancel Toby Fox. I, I think it would just be hilariously dead in the water. Imagine trying to cancel Toby Fox. There's some people in this world that are simply uncancelable, and Toby Fox is one of them. It's like whenever Twitter tries to cancel Jay Schlatt. I think it's really funny. They've tried it like five times, and they've failed miserably every single time. Another is Chugga Conroy. What the fuck has Chugga Conroy ever done to even get in any sort of hot water? The worst, the most, I, I know the internet got offended because he posted his opinions about Sticker Star one time. Which is just fucking hilarious to me. Emil is such a goofball. You do the fake YouTube apology thing, you'd be like, I'm sorry, guys. I was in a dark place, but I have to admit, in the year 2018, I played Overwatch. I know you'll find it very difficult in your heart to forgive me. I was in a dark place mentally, and uh, hey, look, here's my dog. We'll get him on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the part where I fake cry? Yeah. Yo, Aspen. Welcome back. Taking back my sub. Guys, I have an admission. I think I said a slur once when I was like 13. It's over for me. It'd be real responsible to, you know, just post my address and get people to hate me and to mass hate me online. <laughs> Are you going to heaven or Ohio? Mm. I mean, Ohio has Cedar Point in it. That's pretty cool. 
Shay's address is 1234 Street Street. 1234 Street Avenue. My experience with Shay, insert twit longer here. He went into my DMs and posted really supportive and lovely things to me. What a fucking monster. <laughs> what a monster. Um, Shay says he loves his audience. That's parasocial. Yo, uh, oh, how, how do I say this? Is this Frankit? I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you for the two months. I appreciate it. Undertale man funny. Thank you. Making me feel good. How vile. Sorry, my bad. I'll make sure not to do it from now on, V, if that's what you want. Shay Undertale called me cute once. He also clutched on office while pretending to be Dutch. <laughs> That was one of the most tremendous clutches that has ever been done in the history of Counter-Strike. No other player could ever do such an amazing clutch. And no other player would definitely go to the wrong floor because he thought he was playing glitched. I mean, that'd just be absolutely ridiculous to make a mistake like that. I would never make it. It's one of the greatest speedrunners all time. Everybody knows I'm the best. They all say it. Everybody knows it. My stream won't stop buffering. Ah. I hope it's not on my end. Why does he sound like Trump? That was the joke. Yes, congratulations. You have arrived at the joke. Hold on a second. I got something special for you. Let me kill Muffet first. Congratulations, viewer! You have arrived at the joke! You're a winner today. You got the joke. I am so proud of you. That is an incredible accomplishment. Is it behind door number one, door number two, or door number three? <laughs> you did it! <laughs> Congratulations! Now get out! <laughs> What's your prize? More questions! Yeah, we evil. Thank you for the good luck. It's Corin time. Any Corbius fans? Damn, Alfie out for blood. Holy shit. Hey, yo, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a murder going on in my Twitch chat. Emergency meeting? No! Don't, don't, don't say it. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. A body has been discovered! Ah, they dropped the trailer for Ramatra for Overwatch 2. Damn, I should probably watch that because I kind of liked his design. Oh, let's go. Boop! Who's ready, baby? Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready? Say it with me. Mm, bitch. A body has been discovered in the Lego City River. Build the rescue copter. Hey! <laughs> 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 
What are some monsters you're okay with killing? All of them, literally all of them. They are pixels on a screen. Their life and death is con inconsequential to me. <laughs> Except Gift Trot. Gift Trot's cool. You're so heartless. No, I'm not. You know who we need to cancel? This crotch fucking cannon son of a bitch. This isn't gonna kill. This is gonna kill. All right, we're good. A man has fallen into the lava at Sussy Polis. Build the rescue skeld. Uh, those words aren't in the Bible. A man has fallen for a man in Lego City. I can't see me loving nobody but you for all my life. When you're with me, baby, the skies will be blue for all my life. A bitch. God damn it, evil. <laughs> Bless you, thank you. I had an Amori nightmare last night, rough. Why did I equip the ballet shoes before I saved the game? Questions we will never get the answer to. I give up. I'll just watch the stream when I get home. Okay. Have fun driving home, Salamancer. <laughs> Holy shit, Alf, you are out for blood. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was just gonna ignore the dude being weird, and you're... <laughs> I love it. I put this one on your mod application. <laughs> Why do you only do half the grind in core? Uh, well, we need to do it for Geno. So we do a bit of it, and then save and do Alfie's ending. This puts us one LV higher than we would be, uh, which uh, makes Asgore turn faster. Welcome back from the ads, everybody who got an ad break. Welcome to the Alfie's ending. Do you walk? Do you like walking in a straight line? for four minutes. The people who routed this are very clever. Thank you. I'll take that compliment. I appreciate it. It's a waffle. How you doing, lovely? Well, I'm very sorry for any walking right enthusiasts because we're about to do something unheard of. We're walking left. Get no ads, bitch. Wow, that's crazy. Get banned, bitch. I missed! <laughs> I missed fucking get down, Mr. President, head ass. <laughs> Sorry, evil. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Enzo. Who's a mess of butt? Who's a mess of butt? 
Shut up, bitch! <laughs> yeah, brother was being weird all stream. I probably gave him more chances than he deserved, honestly, but yeah. Probably just a kid. I'm a misinput. Wait. Zoo. <laughs> this is gonna be parents in 2045 telling their children that they're adopted. Uh, son. Or, <laughs> so not telling that they're adopted, but <laughs> telling them that. Son, you were a misinput. <laughs> It's a Kirote. Can I get banned to- What? V! Gosh, you're such a bottom, Jesus Christ. Done? I would ban you right now, except the problem is if I did that, I'd have to remod you. And I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> hey, look at that! 50 seconds of time loss because I'm, an, I'm, a, I'm a moron. Alright, chat, say it with me. <clears throat> so you finally made it! The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. A way to quantify the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have the XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now, you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you ever really done the right thing? And uh, considering what you've done, uh, hypothetically, what would you do now? <gasps> Why'd you kill my brother? <laughs> America as a nation could be described in a single word. Dum dee -da dum dum. Uh, so I've been wondering why so many on the radical left participate in, uh, speed running. If you get a chance, check your snap and look at my birthday fit. I'm terrified. Just a cute outfit. Okay, okay. Let's make it sure. Shay live stream number 73. What does it all mean? Let me look. Oh, you look cute. It's a nice outfit. Agor! Hey, Agor! weapon. <laughs> Bruh. 
All right, we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> I cannot hit quads. I'm already bleeding so much time in this ending, bro. Come on. I cannot man you. Na 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 da 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 da. Nice. How do you not get tired when doing this? Because I siphon all of the energy from my Twitch chat. I slurp it all up like Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> Since you really think killing me is ever so, every time you lose your save, I'll come back and every time you get happy, I'll be the eternal way. Ha ha ha. We're still in the green, boys. It's all right. Equip the pan. <laughs> Just don't fucking forget a second time. <laughs> And, and I know, I know I'm gonna get a night night magic here, too. I would have gotten mega punished. Watch. Here we go. What did I tell you guys? What did I say? I had the read from a different dimension, bro. <laughs> Jay using all three of his brain cells. I have as many brain cells for play good players on offense that your football team has. Mm, oh, oh. As many wins as your team. No, 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 this is about you, not about me. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I won't be taking comments at this time. I haven't gotten any emails from the Toby Fox newsletter yet. I'm not even sure if they've, like, started publishing anything. The Florida, Florida State game had zero defense. Yeah, I think my fucking grandmother could have outrun the Florida defense last night, I'm not gonna lie. What a joke. What a sad, pathetic excuse for an organization. They, they have a lot of work to do. Todd Grantham's ghost is still out there ruining that football team as we speak. I'm a truck freak? Yeah, I haven't gotten anything yet. I, uh, I don't think he's, I don't think that, I haven't even gotten a confirmation email or anything. So, I'm not sure if they've been, like, you know, everything's been signed up or not. Also, the Florida-Florida State game last night had the most fucking obnoxious commentator I think I've ever heard. Dude, just... Oh, wow. That was difficult to listen to. That guy was fucking obnoxious. Like, dude, you gotta learn how to shut up sometimes, man. Even worse than me? You're fine, what? <laughs> I got the- no, I got the email that they sent me to actually sign up for it, right? Like, the email that hits- that, like, has the subscribe button and you press it, and then it says, like, thank you for signing up. 
I mean, I haven't gotten anything since then. Uh, Alfie, no, I didn't. What was it? Do you genocide everything apart from the one person? No. There's a totem pole of priority. It goes Toriel, Undyne, Metaton, Papyrus. So for Papyrus ending, the, other, the others have to be dead. But for uh, Undyne ending, only Toriel has to be dead, if that makes sense. However, the version of Undyne ending we get is this, is actually Undyne ending without Papyrus, as it's called. Uh, because we kill Papyrus because Papyrus needs to be dead for dog ending. There is a variation of Undyne ending with and without Papyrus. Same with Metaton ending. In Metaton ending with Papyrus, Papyrus and Sans become Metaton's agents. Yo, Hikaru. Thank you for the good luck. Appreciate it. My run today lasted 1 hour 47 minutes and 10 seconds. Yo, 471. When you see it. Alright, what is this? What is this tweet? Damn, okay, NHL, all right. Sheesh! Holy fuck, look at the turfs and the replies, bro. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, dude. Bozos. That tweet is based. Yeah, they all come out of the woodwork. Because they're being oppressed. Uh, I'm being so oppressed right now. Ah, yes. A group of people that embodies less than 1% of the population is really oppressing you. These are the same fucking people who go and lick doorknobs to protest COVID vaccine mandates. <laughs> What a useful list of people for my block list. What does TERF mean? Trans exclusionary radical feminist. Remember those feminists you got mad at back in 2016? You can still laugh at them, they're TERFs now. See, part of the healing process is realizing that all those cringe losers that you used to laugh at on the internet, you can still laugh at them because they're still cringe losers. Just call them what they are. Yeah, shit sucks. Fuck. I got boned. I got boned!
How goes the run? So far, so good, dorked. I gotta go to the store to buy food. Yo, have fun at the store. Oh, fuck. Oh! Everything's fine. I jumped late. I'm trying to read chat while fighting Sans. Uh, mixed results. Oh, how'd the IF thing go, dorked? If you get a sub 430, I will buy every single jersey from the Jaguars active roster. Hey, so I have two and a half minutes of time save on my last two splits. Uh, you might have not wanted to make that bet. <laughs> I revoke it. <laughs> Clueless. He doesn't know. Tell you what, if I PB, get a Lawrence jersey. How's Hi, Crystal. How you doing? What is the purpose of gender-based sports? I mean, there's a reason for it. At a, at a fundamentally professional level, I mean, even at like the most highest level of sports, in order for a transgender person to compete in uh, like professional sports, they have to go through a lot of procedures to ensure fair play. Because like, yeah, obviously you don't want to run into a situation in which somebody starts just taking hormones to dope per se, but there's sanctions for them to go through and it's perfectly fine after completing a medical process or whatever. People make a huge fucking deal out of it. It's basically a dog whistle at this point, to be completely honest with you. It is something that people bring up to dilute the conversation. And it sucks. It's something that people will bring up in an innocent way to be like, well, actually, well, you need to think about this outcome to distract people from the, the real problems. But yes. UTSA was down 24 to 0, and somehow we came back and we won. Let's go! Yo, the UTSA won? Y'all getting ranked, right? First of all, the vast majority of transgender people don't play sports. Like, when they were uh, discussing, uh, when Utah was passing a bill regarding uh, high school transgender students in sports. The number of athletes that this would have affected in the entire state of Utah. Four. Four people. Four. Out of hundreds of thousands of people who live in that state, four people were affected by that. It is they like to pretend that it's this big, wide problem that's going to ruin things when these... I mean, it, it's such a tiny fucking fraction of people. It's like, to get 
uh, you know, get your nads in a twist over it is just ridiculous. Like, yes, at the professional level, there should be sanctions set up to ensure fair play. Okay. It is, people only bring this stuff up to, like, distract from the main issues because they want to get people on their side about how they feel, which just fucking sucks. Because they'll be like, well, uh, actually, they're a problem because of such and such, even though it, it's never going to affect anybody, really. It just sucks. Because they demonize trans people because of it, and it's, it's wrong. It's fucked up, and I hate that. I hate it. I am glad to see the NHL taking a stance like that. Even though they know they're going to get public backlash for it. I am. I'm glad to see them taking a stance like that. Of course, all the people will be like, well, because you're going woke. <laughs> uh, I only know one word. <laughs> woke, woke, woke. Uh. It's actually fucking ridiculous what media has done to people. I have to live with that shit. Busting it down. <laughs> True. I remember that, Frankit, yeah. If you think it's any more than 1%, go outside. It's such a small sliver of people. You're uprooting the lives of less than, like, ten people by doing this and just saying, fuck you in particular, and yet somehow not seeing how disastrously bad that is. But, you know, go off. <laughs> Yo, Xander, with the 15 months, says, Busting it down, Ed Sheeran's Celestial. Listen to it now in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Now available for the Nintendo Switch family of system style. Goaded with the sauce. Those were certainly words that you just typed. Why am I mashing this? You don't have to mash this. Hi, what's up? My name's Shea. Um, I'm the most decorated Undertale speedrunner of all speedrunner of all time, and I uh, am still mashing Flowey's Geno text. That survey was about tons of different things that found on average we overestimate the proportion of any minority. I mean, people absolutely do. It's it's kind of crazy to me that people people lack a lot of perspective. They allow what they hear about and their spaces that they are in to make themselves tr reflect. Like <laughs> they they <laughs> the lack of worldly perspective is just baffling. Hey, Peter, nice cock. Thank you. Anyway, trans rights. Just in case I had to say that. If that offends any of you. Actually, my door's that way, but pretty sure the exit browser button is up there. All right, uh, nice split. <laughs> Okie dokie, it's undone ending time, baby, let's go. Is it passable? Is it faster? Isn't it faster to do pacifist Volgor Geno? No. The order in which you do the three branches, and that being Geno branch, neutral branch, and pacifist branch. Uh, Geno branch is Papyrus, Alphys, and Geno. Neutral branch is Undyne through No King. And TPE branch is the rest of them. Uh, the order in which you do it 
generally doesn't matter, but it's slightly faster to do Geno first because of one cutscene. Basically, uh, at the end of Ruins, there's a cutscene with Flowey. Um, if Flowey is dead, he doesn't appear there. However, even if he is dead, he'll always appear in Hello, Geno. Hello all you wonderful people, Shay love Pope, everyone is having a great day slash night slash whatever trans rights yawn. Yo, Peasant Page with the seven months, thank you, and Alfie with the gifts up. Thank you so much. So yeah, um... So in order to avoid having two flowy cutscenes, you do Geno first. Because if you do Geno... The only flowy cutscene you'll see is the one that's mandatory for Geno, and then he doesn't appear for the other two. He'll always appear the first time before you're able to actually have him marked as killed, and then he'll appear for Geno, so you want those two things to happen at the same time. It saves six seconds, and that is the only reason we do Geno Branch first, other than wanting to get it out of the way. Your lucky tail with the 101 bits as well. Nice despawn. Oh yeah, this run despawned fucking Snowdrake, didn't it? <laughs> There's no Solus in this run, Aura. There is no Solus in uh, AMA. Geno Ending's timing is making the choice. You just immediately close out of the game and you don't lose your soul from that. You don't lose your soul until the game closes on its own, so if you close it before that, you don't- you're, you're good to go. I got a goofy Twitch ad? Damn. Oh, and there's a hype train going? Alright, watch this. I'm gonna do a sub dance. Ooh. Here we go, baby. With my power, I beckon from the sky. Gift subscriptions. Ooh. Yo, Sergio with the two months. Thank you so much. Bluekey is cool. I agree. They are cool. Yo, 29 plays games. Thank you for the 100 bits. Your peasant page with the gifts up to Sewage Monster. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Oh no, it's working. I feel my wallet opening on its own. Yes! <laughs> when the train is hype! Come on, you millennial leftists. Y'all talk about trains all the time. Can we get this train going? Yo, Wolfo with the five gift subs and Mighty Q with the tier one. Thank you so much. Yo, MCB with the gift sub to Clancy as well. Thank you so much. Clancy Shade, enjoy your sub. If you are not subscribed to the channel and you did not just get gifted and still don't have a sub, you are legally required to type dodged in the chat. Yo, Peasant Page with a 5 gift sub, Xander with the 10 gift subs. Holy shit. Tis the season of giving, I hear. Yo, Ash with the gifts up to Fire. Or, that's not- Aha! Dyslexia! To Fifum, excuse me. Chad, did you know I have dyslexia and ADHD? Fun fact. I cannot read words good. Now, I knew I always struggled with reading words, but I didn't really know how to put the word dyslexia into, into my mind until uh, a couple of things. I saw that it was a thing online, and I said, wow, wait, that happens to me. And then I also, uh, you know, I had my suspicions that I couldn't read words properly when my brain refused to read the word harbinger one time. I was younger, and I was watching my father play Mass Effect 2, and there's an enemy in that game called Harbinger. It's one of the Reapers. Um, 
I looked at it, and my brain could not read any other word other than hat bringer. I just, I looked at it, I looked for a while, and I just, the word would not go correctly in my head. It's like my eyes lied to me. About to beat your last record? Hey, yo! Yo, Fallout fan with the gift sub as well. Thank you so much, Ray. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for your generosity, Twitch chat. Love y'all. Appreciate all the generosity and gift subs. Y'all are very lovely. Thank you for the support. Helps me do what I do since I do this for a living and all that. Did you ask your dad why his name Hatbringer? Yes. And he told me to read it again, and I couldn't see the word properly. I still could not read it right. It still was a T. My eyes kept reading it as a T, and I had to, like, squint at it really hard. I was like, oh, Harbinger. Happened a lot in uh, school, where they'd write words up on the board, and the, K the letters would just get jumbled. I see you around way too much for you to not be subbed. Give me a minute. Threatening. Yo, Jack, thank you for the good luck. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> I got diagnosed with ADHD at age 20. I got diagnosed when I was 17. I probably knew I had it for a lot longer than that, though. I just didn't want to admit it. Uh, because when I was growing up, there was a big stigma around it. Or at least in my family, there was. Also, I can clear out this kill count. I don't know why I have that. A little bit of reflection of, uh, of a couple of uh, bad things about... Being an environment that subtly treated it like it was a bad thing to have. Nobody's perfect. Yo, 29 plays games with the 200 bits. More bits? More bits. Fuck it. All of the bits. Two bits! Four bits. Eight bits. 16 bits! 32 bits! Yo, Alfie with the five gift subs. Holy. Holy Macarena. Alfie, thank you so much. I appreciate you, lovely. It's my keystrokes per second, my average or highest. The number you see is the number I'm currently getting. Brain. Brain cells. What's the one next to it? The smaller number, I believe, is the highest I hit. Oh, am I gonna get an encounter because I did that? Uh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Yay! The One Piece is real! Chat, can we break the record on the train? Can it happen? There's only a minute left to decide the fate of the train. Yo, Honeybee with the gift sub to RJD. Thank you so much, Honeybee. Appreciate you, lovely. Can the record be broken? Can it happen? Is it possible? Is there an ending for killing everybody besides main characters? Uh, that'd be Exiled Queen. Yo, Funky Queer with the five gift subs. Thank you so much. With Dr. Vanger to Velnu got caught up in that somehow. <laughs> Vel wasn't subbed? What the fuck? I'm gonna beat that dumbass. What's the ending for killing everybody except one frog it? No king. You'd get no king with 20, 20 or more kill ending, which is the one where Sans tells you to go to hell.
Chat, thank you for all of the gift subs. I appreciate all of you very much for that. Very based. Thank you for all your financial support. With it, I will become all-powerful and ascend to the realm of the gods. Or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Ray, you should try again. If you ever try to go get therapy or something like that and your first therapist doesn't work out, don't take that as an indictment against it as a whole. There's plenty of others. You'll find the one that works for you. Sometimes it takes multiple tries. I'd support your religion. Yeah, I know you would. You already worship me. Smile. Fuck! <laughs> Goddamn icebreaker, bro. There we go. All right, based. Somebody give Kurote a sub. I agree. They've do They've they they can't keep dodging forever. It's just like Sans. Can't keep dodging forever. Yo, whoop with the gift sub to Kurote. Thank you so much. Uh, stick. Absolutely, don't be discouraged by one bad therapist. It's sad there are there sad there are any, but unfortunately we have to be self advocates and take control of our care. Yeah, don't be discouraged by one bad one. You should try it again. It's like uh, you know, you don't stop going to a restaurant just because you have one bad experience. Like if you have a McDonald's one time and it's like met mid, it's like you're not gonna make that an indictment against McDonald's as a whole, right? Gift sub for being followed for over a year. Aw. That's your reward for being such a loyal Shea fan. For all my loyal theorists in chat. Depends on the experience. Okay, well, I mean, if, you know, it, if the CEO of McDonald's uh, descends from above and gives you fucking food poisoning, yeah, that's one thing. It is time for Papyrus to die. It's time to achieve a transcendent state, chat, as an Undertale speedrunner. A rite of passage. We're finally going to beat Papyrus. There is one minute left to keep the train going. Will it continue or will it grind to a halt? Cute emotes. Cute emotes for a cute person, if you know what I mean. Derail the train. There ain't no brakes on this damn train, brother. Enzo? Enzo? Hey, Enzo? 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 Alright, good night, Oro. You have a good night. Stay strong. Don't forget your daily Joel Pride. Will somebody come at the last second? The last 30 seconds to save the train, or is it going to die? I think the train's going to die, chat. I think the train is over. It's lived a long and happy life. Shay X Papyrus Fan Art. Why would you type that? Out of all of the combinations of words in the English lexicon, why would those two be the ones that you type? Level seven. Seven. Seven human souls. Six. That's how many we have so... Watching this run in English is a little jarring after watching Neutral Glitchless in JP. Neutral Glitchless in JP! Oh my god, I'm so sorry! Who did that to you? What about fanfic? A uh, note to self, don't write fanfiction of real people. Listen, the only J JP category I have any time in, or a world record in, is AMA. 
because I lost a bet to my Twitch chat. What was the bet? I had a thousand dollar donation incentive for it. I did not save the train in time. Yo, Ash, thank you for the six months. I appreciate it. Enjoy your green heart. And it is okay. The train had a long and happy life. We just gotta make sure it doesn't get bought up by one of the four monopolies in America that are killing the supply chain. Smile, smile, smile. I'm smiling right now. There's a lot of smiling happening in this chat. Overwatch 2 is a 2022 first-person shooter by Blizzard Entertainment. As a sequel to the 2016 hero shooter Overwatch, the game intends a shared environment for player versus player PvP modes while introducing persistent cooperative modes. A major change in PvP modes was to reduce team sizes from 6 to 5. Several major characters were also reworked. Overwatch oh, 2 is free to play on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Windows, Xbox One, and Xbox Series 10 slash S in early access on October. V, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes for another one. And uh, enjoy your enjoy your orange heart while you still have it, fool. How are you so funny? Tell us your secrets. I want to be funny too. Um, I just am. It's genetic, honestly. It has nothing to do with me adopting humor as a coping mechanism for years and years of personal trauma or anything like that. Nah, would never. I'm just a funny guy. I was forged in the fires of Hades. I was surrounded by only the most unfunny people on the planet, and I had to rise above them to become the funniest. My, my congratulations speech on being elected the funniest person in Florida was Morbius, Morbius, Sus Among Us. You may now laugh. Can you teach me the skill to be cute like you? I mean, you already have it. I'm laughing so hard. I know, it was hilarious. My jokes have always landed every single time. I am the funniest person who has ever lived in the history of ever. Nobody's been funnier. They're the most, everybody knows that I'm the funniest. Everybody says it. Everybody loves me. They all say it. Everybody knows it. Some of them don't want to say it, but they all know that I'm the funniest person who's ever lived in the history of this great country. Nobody's ever been funnier. Everything I say is just comedy genius, comedy gold. Barack Obama could never be as funny as me, and Sleepy Joe, I mean, he, he doesn't even, he's never funny. He can't even formulate his jokes. But everything I say is so funny. I said Morbius Sussy Among Us. And everybody in the stadium, they roared with applause. It was the greatest joke that's ever been told. No, no greater jokes. The, the radical left, they want to censor Morbius. They say it's a tired meme. They say that it's tired and that they don't want it anymore. They say Morbius is dead, but we all know that it's Morbin time. <laughs> care check chat? True, care check. Posture check and make sure you hydrate. It's good for you. And if you're feeling down on yourself, you might want to make sure you eat and drink. It's healthy. Yeah, what's up, Aubrey? Welcome back. Hey, yo. Who is ready for Gaster? Take it away, baby. Damn it. Surely we'll get him soon, right guys? Surely copium. Drink your water so you don't get a kidney infection. Chat, to my fellow men in chat, 
fellas, and also any ladies who are in possession of a co of a cock, um, drink water. Kidney stones suck. <laughs> that, that is all. <laughs> Hydrate, please. May you never have to experience that. I've never had one. I haven't either, but I have people in the family who have, and, uh... And not saying it can't happen to anybody, but it is significantly worse if you have a penis. It's just... It's, it's more travel time. <laughs> just drink water. It's good for your liver. And water, please. Don't... It's, alcohol doesn't do it. It needs to be water. The scenic route. Scenic! Yeah, let's say that. Whew. Okay, got you, Kirote. I mean, you have the- I have the pronoun extension. I can see your pronouns. I don't have mindset, but I use the extension. Because, uh... I, you know, in my brain, the reason why, as a streamer, it's good to have the extension is because if somebody is particular about what they are called, they will most likely have it set on the extension. I knew that was early. I was like, that's not right. Please stop being so funny. I want to go get food. Go get food. That's an order. I'm ordering you to go get food. Obey me! How do you set it up? Uh, I think you go to a certain web- I, I have a chat command for it, actually. I believe there's a chat command that links to it. What's your favorite major ending? From a story perspective, honestly, I really like No King ending. <laughs> I think it's cool. Papyrus ending is also, like, good in the I'm a fucking terrible person type way, because it's sad as shit, because Papyrus thinks everybody else has gone on vacation. And it's like, you know the whole time that every, that they're dead. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Should Xander go get food? Yes. My nouns are still amateur. Yeah, I use the extension because it's good to see. Because uh, uh, if somebody is peculiar about what they need to be called, then they'll probably have it set. So that way I don't mislabel anybody. It's literally like a zero effort play for me. It takes pretty much no effort from me and only increases the quality of life of the stream. So Every streamer should do it, IMOTBH. Okay, uh, flow timer. Come to me, flow timer. It is time to skip the mad dusty. Oh, God, it's just so easy for me. Ow, you dummies, watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you, forget I said anything about magic. Okay, let's actually die on one turn, please. It is simply that easy. The mad what? The mad dummy. Mad dummy. Mad dummy skip skips the mad dummy. My favorite ocean bag will quote. Drugs? Hey, yo! Turn that shit up, Charles! <laughs> drugs, drugs! Hey, yo! Turn that shit up, Charles!
Mad dumpy skip ship skip shay. Do not check the pins in general. Actually, you should check the pins in general. I'm not shy. I'm not shy about it. I have a nice ass, all right? I'll say it. I'll say it. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to speak the truth. They hated Jesus because he told the truth. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is my favorite Ocean Bagel post, actually. <laughs> that No, you're actually totally right. That's my favorite Ocean Bagel post. Share if you love Pocky or being dominated. By the way, what's Pocky? <laughs> I think the reason it's so fucking funny is because, like, you never expect it from Ocean. That's like the last person you expect to make a joke like that. You know, Ocean Bagel gives me, like, youth pastor vibes. <laughs> Worst mistake of my life. Was it really a mistake, though? Yeah, thanks, Dank Boy. I appreciate it. Undertale is a 2015 role-playing game developed and programmed by Toby Fox. Undine. Oh, welcome back, Sylvie. Guess who's back? A bag again. Did you put the whole damn bakery in there? No. Uh, so the, the context behind that picture is that I had just gotten to the hotel room and I was fucking tired because I had just flown up and done all this shit and get the got the room and So I dive bombed onto the bed and was just laying there and all my friends in the room are like bro Why are you caked up in the back? And I was just like what the fuck are you guys talking about? And so they took a picture of me just laying there and we're like look and I was just like damn And then they posted it in my Discord server. Okay, cool. That cutscene is scary to skip because if you miss it, the run is over. Safety save. Hey, Sylvia, I wasn't gonna say anything, but uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> You posted that picture and I was like, SHEESH! <laughs> Xander is leaving for food and told me you need to stop being funny. All right, well, we're not allowed to be funny anymore. Everybody hand in, your, your funny passes have all been revoked. This is the no fun zone. There is no fun allowed here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Deltarune speedrunning Discord server. Fun is not allowed here. Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe, but this... does put a smile on my face. I hate femboys? Damn. That's a bad take. I love another medium. Yeah, yeah. The pro-lifer bot incident. Holy fuck, I forgot about that. Jesus is king. If you are a triggered or offended by this.
<laughs> yes, Salamancer, they spelled it as triggered, not triggered. They said triggered. They didn't even know how to spell triggered correctly. They were trying to be, they were trying to be fun. They were trying to be lame and they messed up their own lame joke. Like, goodness gracious, y'all have two jokes that you repeat over and over and over and over again, and you can't even spell it correctly. Shameful. Despicable. At least when I do my same three jokes over and over again, I have the decency to spell it correctly. Well, Jack, that's the secret they don't want you to know. That's why I have such good times in Delta. <laughs> Volume warning? What volume warning? I don't know what you're talking about. Alrighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, now. Nine buffers? Jesus. I've lost my sense of timing. I don't know, it's better just get the skip, to be honest with you. It's better to have just gotten the fucking skip and not even have to worry about. <laughs> I think adjusting to be more comfortable while you're referred to makes you better at speedrunning. I think it makes you better at life, too, to be honest. I think adjusting your appearance, mannerisms, and whatever you need to adjust to be in a happy lifestyle and comfortable with yourself actually equates to having a more happy and productive life. At least it did for me. I don't know, I used to hate myself four years ago, and now I think I'm hot. And I have a way better life than I used to. I mean, I actually have money now. Isn't that crazy? Sylvie, why would you say something like that? I'm, I'm, I'm revoking your speaking privileges. That little incident right there is going to cost you five gifted subs. All right, you're free to go. <laughs> hmm. Sorry about that. Apology accepted. I feel like Twitch chat has only been good for Shay's self-esteem. It absolutely has been. But that's not the only thing that's been good for my own self-esteem. Being able to see myself in a more self-actuating light has definitely helped. Surrounding myself with positive people who build me up and who are f understanding of me and care about me, rather than surrounding myself with people who only feed off of fucking drama uh, has definitely, uh, also helped my self-esteem. <laughs> and, uh, forgiving myself as well, that's another thing. A lot of people aren't good at self-forgiveness, and I wasn't for a very long time. There were a lot of things that, I, I mean, I, there are a lot of things that I've said and I've done to people that I have regretted over the years, but I'm able to look back and say, hey, I don't do that shit anymore. I've improved since then, I can forgive myself, and that's important. Now, granted, having like 300 people come out of the woodwork to tell you that you look hot is like definitely also confidence inspiring, to be honest. <laughs> that definitely helps. <laughs> I'm glad I started posting my face more often online because I used to suck at selfies. In fact, the very first selfie I ever posted on Twitter became a meme in my Discord server. It's that picture of me wearing that Dallas Fuel shirt that is posted in sub only all the time. It's up, Redbird. I think you look like Morbius. Are you telling me I look like Jared Leto? I'm not sure if that's a compliment. See, I did this cool thing where I got my life in order by, like, actually sitting down and addressing my problems rather than using my friends and my hobbies at, of gaming as a scapegoat for them 
and unnecessarily venting all of my anger and frustrations out at random people online. Does wonders. Uh, fuck. Shit. Beep beep poo poo. Beep beep poo poo check. Beep beep poo poo poo. Uh, why did I think I was one room further than I was? Brain cells. Don't you dare. Okay. <laughs> Seems like you could skip Metaton. My crush complimented me when I first got my glasses, and that definitely made me feel better about how I look with them. Your crush? Hey, yo, you gonna smash? When are they gonna move from being your crush to being your, uh, being your partner? I mean, you are a subscriber to this channel. Tends to happen around these parts. <laughs> Like I said, Shea subs, I hear their crush, text them back first. It's true, chat. That's silly, that would never happen. Pleb, you literally met your girlfriend in my community. <laughs> Pleb, you literally met your girlfriend through me. <laughs> That is not the first time that's happened, and it certainly won't be the last. My crush is driving for three hours. Will he text back while driving since I'm a sub now? I don't know. If you text him, he probably will when he stops for, like, gas or something. Also, your crush? Bullshit. You're dating. That's not a crush. <laughs> It's a Beotus Toaster, hope you're doing well. Gonna go play Minecart. Mar Minecart? Mario Kart with a Minecraft YouTuber. All right, have fun, Alfie. Wait, which YouTuber? Dream? Ah, uh, yeah. It's time for Tazgore! It's everybody's favorite part. It's Tazgore time, baby. Uh, hello, I've turned on NVIDIA Shadowplay Instant Replay. I have now turned off NVIDIA Shadowplay Instant Replay. <laughs> I want to speak to the person at NVIDIA, whoever put that to Alt-Z as the binding. I, I just want to talk. The Windows error noise. <laughs> I'm back from the store. How goes the mighty Shea Conquest of time? It's going. Hard to go from crush to partner when they're straight. Ah! I've been there before. Other way around, but I've been there before. Actually, three times. There's some people on Twitter who claim that straight people never experience what that's like. Uh, bullshit. <laughs> it has happened to me. A handful of times. There were at least three very pretty girls who I had crushes on in middle school and high school who were lesbians. <laughs> like, well, 
I respect that. Uh, the <laughs> Rip me, but I respect the shit out of that. Yeah, I mean, obviously it happens more to gay people because of just how numbers work, but yeah. It is a pain that is relatable. I understand the pain. You just gotta let that go. Gee, Aubrey, I wonder who that could be. Oh, it's such a mystery. Well, let's just get this over with. Shit! What? How? Bro, I'm nasty with it! And I equipped the pan this time. Alright, Undyne. Undyne more like about to die. I'm dead. Not funny. You can go ahead and hit that unsubscribe button now. <laughs> the phone. More like dying on this dick. She wouldn't like that. She doesn't swing that way. And I respect that. Fucking Jesus. See, me and Undyne, we understand each other because we're into the same exact types of people. We're into cute, nerdy girls. <laughs> the problem is, <laughs> that means we're incompatible. <laughs> but that's okay. That's how friendships are formed. Friendships while I beat her to death with a frying pan. Burp pan is so broken. How is this item in the game? <laughs> I hope Deltrun gets an item that's this overpowered, man. Holy shit. <laughs> this fucking item, man. <laughs> oh, broken doesn't even start to describe this fucking weapon. Am I going to be able to take enough here? I'm not sure. Nope. That's okay. I killed her faster than I expected, so we're going to need to take damage here. Uh, from what? I don't really know. I guess I'll just run into lasers twice, I guess. Not a big deal. I believe the lasers deal seven, so we're only gonna have to do it twice, which is fine. That's worth it for me. I, I much prefer the security of Sirius Skip to just going time even. So we had this idea for Delta. Yes, uh, originally, uh, the three hits for Delta Rune were gonna be different buttons. Uh, it was going to have a button prompt next to the character to say what button you needed to press. Uh, that got taken out because that shit would have been fucking impossible. So, like, no, it wouldn't have been a button corresponding to the character. It would have been random per character. Like, you would have to look and see Chris was X, Susie was Z, and Ralsei was C. 
Or maybe Suzy and Ralse were Z and Chris was C. You have to look and react to that and then also still hit the buttons. And it's like, oh, okay, that's a little much. <laughs> I'm glad they got taken out. That, that would have been too much. Maybe later. Heat rope! I still haven't forgotten Star to, for telling me to get fucked multiple times in DMs. Damn. She uh, just wants somebody to be able to relate to her, you know? <laughs> what? Hmm? I didn't say anything. Ah, he throw the punch card, my nemesis! Why did you edge your HP to do the one HP laser bridge skip? Why did you say edge your HP? Of all the ways you could describe losing HP, why that? <laughs> of all of the ways you could have phrased that, why did you choose that one? <laughs> Brother. Actually, not brother, sister! Sorry, I'm from the south. Everybody's brother here, brother. We're all brother here, brother. If you ever hear me refer to you as brother, I promise I'm not trying to misgender. It is literally just what I say to everybody. If you have a problem with that, though, please let me know. And I won't do it. Thumbs up. Emoji. Yo, what's up, uh, Ventus? Hey, yo, everybody turn your volume up. Been trying to replace brother with fella because it's gender neutral. Actually, I had somebody get extremely upset at me one time because I said fellas. It's Venton time. Among us. Shay out here speaking like Scout TF2. Fellas. Ha <laughs> ha, fellas. Sorry, I'll speak like the class I'm in. My fellow Americans, we are here to fight. And fight we will. We'll defeat all those evil commie bastards. We don't have red splits here. We're America, maggots. Sun Tzu said that, and he's a little bit better at fighting than you. I don't get this reference. TF2, soldier. Can you elaborate on the fellas story? Uh, I posted fellas in a Discord chat one time. Like, said, like, fellas, have you ever... And someone was like, please don't refer to me. Or, or don't, don't use the term fellas, it's gendered. And I was like... They're very condescending about it, too, and I'm like, really? <laughs> Come on, now. Like, isn't it f fellow? Like, isn't fellas, like, fellow? Fellow? Like, my fellow Americans? Gender to what gender? Male? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never really... Uh, maybe this is my own personal thing growing up, but, like... None of the plurals have ever been gendered to me. And I know that's the end result that people are working towards, so it's just a little bit strange to me that it's like... 
somebody's holding on to a term that nobody really uses with that in mind as having that in mind. That's just strange to me. It's like, who the f when, when people say, like, you guys, like, everybody says that to a group of people. Like, I, I don't know. I can understand dude. I can understand getting mad at dude. That one, I can see. Although, I also don't blame people for using it neutrally, because the female version of dude is dudette, and if you say dudette, go back to 1961. <laughs> but I also understand why people uh, would get upset at that one. I, I can totally get that. If uh, somebody ever uses a term like that that makes you personally upset, just the good thing to do is just politely tell them, hey, uh, say, please don't refer to me as that. Calmly. Don't make a big deal over it. Don't be, don't cause a scene. That's like the number one thing that people do wrong when it comes to that, because if you make a scene over it and try to go on the offense and make the other person feel like they're being attacked, then that is just going to spiral out of control, and then it'll turn into the goddamn Hollow Knight Discord, and you don't want to be in the Hollow Knight Discord. I was in the Hollow Knight Discord, and you don't want to be there. Respect goes a long way, Twitch chat. Uh, my preferred greeting is, uh, ladies and gentlemen and others. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen and others. Oh, more of the panic boat. Yeah, yeah. Except now I'm late to that discussion. It's better now from what I understand. Which is good. Uh, things have improved. It's saddening that it basically took somebody dying for some people to settle their goddamn differences and realizes that they were being assholes to each other in that community, but... I mean, at least things are better from what I hear, so that's good. Context, uh, a very respected Hollow Knight runner, uh, very unfortunately passed away not too long ago, uh, unexpectedly. And it caused a lot of people to sort of have a self-reflection moment where they were like, is all of this petty shit that we've devolved this community to seriously worth it? And, uh, it's caused a lot of people to, uh, reflect on themselves in a positive way, so at least that's, at least something good came of it. But yeah, it was very unfortunate. I didn't know them at all. But I had known that they were a very friendly person. I'm just glad that things have seemingly improved, because... Yeah. I tried to learn Hollow Knight, I wanted to learn the speedrun, and it just... Drained me. It drained me a lot. <laughs> I essentially stepped foot into an active war zone, and I already had people hating me just because of who decided to show me the game. Which is a pathetic fucking state of a community. Yes, Shy was their name. And it's very, very tragic. Uh, but it made a lot of people reflect, like, man, is this shit really worth it? And from what I understand, things have been a lot uh, better and calm in that community. 
Hi, do you speak Spanish? Not very much Spanish, no. I know a little bit because I live in Florida and I took two years of Spanish in high school and I remember like two things from it, but I don't fluently speak it at all. Yeah, but not to linger too much on that. Tazgore. What did you DM me, Sylvie? What the fuck is this? Oh, okay, I see. I joke about y'all being Texas, Texas, Texas exclusive. Nah, we say y'all here. Y'all? Good luck, thank you. Ever consider playing Hollow Knight on stream? Uh, I've beaten the game completely myself. I don't really want to play it again. I'll probably play Silk Song when it comes out in 16 years. Using the pan? Yes, the pan is the best weapon in the entire game. What's Exiled Queen? Exiled Queen is when all the boss monsters are alive, but you've killed 10 or more monsters. That's not gonna kill. Uh, okay, this is going to do 534 damage. Watch. I was a little short. I was a little bit under. 16 years, that's pretty optimistic, don't you think? My favorite thing is whenever Nintendo announces a Nintendo Direct, all the Hollow Knight fans on Twitter say, surely Silk Song gets announced at this one. And then it never does. <laughs> the level of copium is just beyond me. Almost golded. All right. Uh, all right, Metaton ending done. Now we got to go kill Metaton. Mandatory wrong warp right here. What? <laughs> okay. Ye sure. Um, I don't know why I didn't warp there. That was bizarre. Alfie said something. Doesn't matter. So yes, we're gonna kill Metaton here, so we can get dog ending. Now, because of some punch card antics, uh, Metaton it will will be in a state in which he is both alive and dead. Uh, for the purposes of the ending, he will be dead. In terms of game functions, he'll be alive. So even in death, he's truly immortal.
Schrodinger's gay robot? Hey, hey, we don't know what Metaton sexuality is. No need to make assumptions just because of his appearance. I know he looks a little fruity, but he's also a rock star. He is trans, though. S sorta. Schrodinger's sexually ambiguous robot. There you go. Now, he might not be literally transgender, but it's a very obvious... I talked about this yesterday during the run, but it's very obviously a subtext for it. By literal world mechanics, he might not be, because the ghosts just don't have gender. Um, it's obviously supposed to be an allegory. Brother. Hey, my name's Shay. Uh, today we're gonna be doing the punch god. I do the wrong whoop and bam, there's the soft lock. Thanks for watching. Why is that flagged? What? Huh? What are you talking about? How do homophobic underfans, undersale fans exist? <laughs> there was somebody who was so convinced that Alfie's couldn't possibly be a, in a lesbian relationship that this person wrote a long, like, three-paragraph comment in one of Dork's YouTube section comment sections about how Alfie's is actually a dude. You can always tell. We can always tell. It's always the ad breaks that remind me to resub. Yo, Lightning Man, thank you for the eight months. I appreciate it. Thank you for the resubscription. Enjoy your emotes for another month. My quads are starting to come back to me, chat. My my percentage has gone up a bit in the past couple of days. It's it's starting to come back. I'm feeling myself again. Fuck, that really didn't kill. Okay. He has 542 health. Damn it! This time I was over! Fuck. I can't estimate this worth of, worth of crap. Yesterday I kissed my girl crush, but that wasn't enough. Really a crush at that point? I mean... <laughs> Oh, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. He was about to say, I thought you were dating somebody. Okay. Now, remember what I said? Metaton's dead. Uh, asterisks. Metaton is dead. Uh, however...
Dead asterisks, yep. Uh, now, uh, listen, that, that's a ghost. It's just simply a figment of your imagination. That's not there. Close your eyes. He's come back. He's a specter. You can make out with your friends. True, actually true. If everybody involves okay with that, that's true. That's true, that's pretty true. That's true. Just, you know, gotta make sure everybody's okay with that. Bro, how many inputs? <laughs> How many times I gotta tap up, bro? Uh, oh, God! Woo! Ooh! Jeez. Oh, that felt... Good and bad simultaneously. You good? Well, I was stretching and my back, it, it had a little And it was like, it felt good and also bad at the same time. GG on the Tazgor? Are you just telling me that early? <laughs> okay. I am from the future. Another Taz what? A V, A V, A O, A A O, A O, A O, A O, A O, A O, A O. What's the No King ending? No King is all leaders dead plus uh one or more en enemy killed. Uh, no King ending is when Toriel, Papyrus, Metaton, and Undyne are dead, and your kill count is five or higher. Uh, the 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 bosses count as kills. Dog ending is when it's exactly four. Uh, that's so basically you just killed the four leaders and nobody else. So just killing one monster here changes the ending. There's two versions of No King. Uh, since they're variations, you only have to get one for all major endings. But uh, there's the regular version of it, which we're getting here. And then there's the 20 kill version. That's the one where Sans tells you to go to hell. If you've seen that ending before. That only happens if you kill, uh, if your kill count's about 20. So basically, everybody's dead. What's family? Uh, everybody's alive. Uh, zero kills. Actually, less than 10 kills, and all of the main bosses are alive. If you have 10 or more, it'll be Exiled Queen instead. Was that a Tazgore? No, that was one off. Yeah, family ending is the ending you're going to get. If you're playing uh, True Pacifist, that's the neutral ending that you're going to get in a True Pacifist playthrough, is family ending. Speaking of which, it's now time for the Pacifist branch. The last three endings. Honestly, one of the more depressing endings, I think, is like a uh, Metaton ending without Papyrus is like really depressing. That, if I, if I remember correctly... Uh, if that ending happens, a Metaton ending without Undyne and without Papyrus, basically, um, Metaton takes over the underground, and it's like, becomes like mega capitalist, or whatever. Uh, Sans leaves and goes lives with Toriel, if Toriel is alive. I think that's that one. I can't remember, I, th I can't remember if that's one of the Metaton endings or one of the Undyne endings. True rainbow capitalism, let's go. You're probably a speed typer. Every time I am in a voice call with new people, every time I start typing, they'll be like, holy shit, Shay, you're typing. I've been uh, talking more with like a bunch of the people developing the Calamity mod now that I'm a dev on the team. And uh, every time we're in a voice call, I was like, Shay, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, 
<laughs> it sounds like you're writing an angry twit longer, and I was like, bro, I'm just typing up a message. It's like, how do you type this fast? Yeah, Metaton ending has a version with and without Papyrus. The with Papyrus, uh, Sans and Papyrus become Metaton's agents. It, that one's a funny ending. I like that ending. It's kind of funny. The one without Papyrus, I think, is the one where Sans goes to live with Toriel in the ruins, if Toriel is alive. Uh, if Toriel is dead, then that's the one where he gets really annoyed at you. Shay's having a Twitter argument kicking someone's butts in the QRTs. I'll kick your butt. Yeah, you're right. Toriel has to be dead. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, you're completely correct. Sorry. Caught me lacking there. Yeah, it's up to Dr. Flame. So yeah, with Metaton being the only one alive. Uh, which is the one that Sans goes to live with Toriel? Which ending is that? I can't remember which one it is. Is that the one of the Undyne endings? Is that Exiled Queen without Papyrus? That might be Exile. I might be thinking of Exiled Queen without Papyrus. I know it's one of the ones where Papyrus is dead. Because Sans, Sans sticks with Papyrus, and Papyrus doesn't go to see Toriel ever. That's not a thing. Oh, they both live with Toriel. Oh, is that a thing? Nah, I do vaguely remember that. I haven't read through all of the endings in a very long time. <laughs> right, yeah, I do remember that. Okay, I do remember that one now. So is that Exiled Queen with Undyne or without Undyne? Because I know that there are different Exiled Queen endings depending on whether or not Undyne is alive. Because I know this because I did them all in True Hundo. Because if Undyne is alive, she'll be the one to lead the Rebellion. But if not, they'll just do it anyway. An ending that a lot of people don't get is a uh, family ending with Alfie's. Uh, is not usually one you get, but uh, yeah. Now, technically, the ending we get here isn't actually technically the family ending. I know. It is a version of it. But for the purposes of this speedrun category, Betrayed Undyne is considered a family ending. Uh, the reason why this is okay is because whoever named the endings, Betrayed Undyne was such a stupid decision. And I don't like calling it that, but it's what the community kind of refers to it as. I would just prefer to refer to it as Family Ending Without Undone. I ran Delta Rune all chapter all recruits for the first time in months and got every man while fighting pop-ups. Yo, nice. Yeah, the reason I really hate the term Betrayed Undyne is because I think Betrayed Undyne should be refer should be only exclusively to the endings where you actually betray her. So if you did family ending, which we're about to do, but didn't date Undyne, according to the ending graph, the ending you get is Betrayed Undyne. That's bullshit. <laughs> I 
I think Betrayed Undyne should only refer to endings in which you... Because these exist. There are endings you get in this game if you date Undyne, which requires dating Papyrus, so to dating both Papyrus and Undyne, and then kill a monster. If you do that, then you get, like, a special ending where she gets really mad at you. And that should be Betrayed Undyne to me. However, according to the master chart, that is referred to as Betrayed Undyne with Date. <laughs> you betrayed Undyne? How did you betray her? You never spoke to her! You can't betray somebody that you don't know. What's the world record for this category? Uh, 4 hours, 31 minutes, and 0, 07 seconds by a person called Shay. Betrayer? I don't even know her. Watch what happens when I betray someone I don't know. Yeah, exactly, right? If you don't date her, she doesn't know you, and then she blames you for Asgore's death. Okay, that's not a betrayal. We know we were never friends. <laughs> it would only be a betrayal if you became friends with her and then killed somebody and actually betrayed her. Which is what you do in Betrayed Undyne with Date. It's more of like, I don't know, family ending without Undyne or... I don't know, if you want to call it like... Family ending with Undyne, or without Undyne. Sure, that's a perfect name for it. And then there's family ending with Undyne, where you date her, and she's part of the final phone call. And she's all like, yeah, I know you wouldn't hurt, I, I, like, I'm sorry what happened with Asgore, like, she understands. And then there's family ending with Alphys, uh, where Alphys is also there. That's a rare ending that a lot of people don't get. Uh, that ending only happens if you date Alphys, and then rather than going to True Lab, you go right back to Asgore. <laughs> but yes, there is a special ending you get if Alphys is there. She'll, she'll talk on the phone. That's everybody's favorite ending. That's ending 61. How do you get that ending? Uh, you just do true pacifist, date everybody, date Alphys, and then instead of going to true lab, just go to Asgore and fight Asgore. Oh, the fucking ending 61. I don't know if it's a command. You can type uh, exclamation point uh, true hundo. Uh, should have the, di the document linked. There it is. Ending 61. Family ending without Alphys and with challenge. Reset! Do not use any consumables or equip any armor. I'll get all your cards except Amalgamates and Mad Mew Mew and 101%. Take two monster candies. Get the Fader Ribbon. Get the Butterscotch Pie. Spirit Oriole. Do not hear out the box. Or get the Tough Glove in your inventory. Drop everything out of the box. Equip the Tough Glove. Drop the Garrett scene in the next room. Die to Snow Drake in the same room. Get the Snowman piece. Spare Glide. Applaud. Twice ignore thrice. I don't remember. <laughs> What a goofball ending. But yeah, that's one of my favorite endings, because a lot of people don't know about it. But yes, for the purposes of this category, uh, Betrayed Undyne, which is this ending, uh, is considered part of Family Branch. Family ending and betrayed undyne are considered the same endings, just variants of each other. For the purposes of this category.
I'm less certain as you get family with Alfie's. You just do everything, except you don't go to True Lab. It's really that simple. After you get after, like, when you're in the garbage dump after the date, rather than going back to the lab, just go to Asgore. That's it. That's all there is to it. Very simple. It's just a lot of people don't do that because they go straight to True Lab. I'm sleepy, then go to bed. So you're doing spare everyone without the date. Yep, because uh, in this we do the date. We do undying date after uh, because it's faster. Because it's faster to do it when you're doing. Uh, it's faster to do it when you're also doing Alfie's date because you're just right there. I mean, if someday we decide, like, like, yeah, it's just, it's whatever. They're variants of each other. Yeah, family ending and betrayed undying are both under the flawed pacifist. I mean, I could probably just rename this to flawed pacifist. And people would probably get, understand it better. I don't know who did that, Suitov. I, I don't know. I had serious issues with it, though. When I found out about that, that was the precise moment I started getting involved with talking about the routing for True Hundo again, because I'm like, you guys are seriously fucking doing this? You're really reordering the difficulty? Originally, the no save branch was ordered by difficulty. Get the hardest thing out of the way first. The one with the most skips in it. But they decided to reorder it to save one frame in a 26 hour long category. I don't know who had administration over that change, but uh, I let them know that it was dumb. In true hundo, you don't route around frame saves. You route around finishing the fucking run. That's what you should be routing around. Hundo is an endurance fest. How can Alfie's be dated before the ending? Okay. You do a neutral ending. That unlocks the ability to date Alfie's. Then you go back. You date Alfie's. Then you go and fight Asgore again. Don't go to True Lab. You know how in True Pacifist you played through all the way up to Flowey, and then Flowey's like, you weren't good enough friends with Alfie's, so then you go date Alfie's. Then, instead of going to True Lab, you go and fight Asgore again. Then you'll get that ending. Over True Hundo, those frame saves might add up to an entire second. Meanwhile, me losing three minutes because I miss a skip. <laughs> I thought you had to go to True Lab? Nope, nothing is stopping you from taking that elevator back up to New Home. After Alfie's date, the entire world is completely open except for Ruins. You can go anywhere you want. The only place that's off limits is Ruins, but everything else is completely open. Yep, I lost about eight or nine minutes because I forgot to get snail pie. Whoops. Didn't end up mattering. I still, I still got world record by like t over half an hour. Do you think the player killing Undyne as ne in neutral is justified? Uh, I mean, she attacked you.
Sans date is never required for any en any ending. Nope. Uh, we do it in true hundo because it's considered a requirement for the category, but it is never a requirement for any endings. It's a requirement, kind of like getting all the hidden rooms. It's a category requirement, not an ending thing. Me, when I remember that true 100% isn't just all of the endings, there's also all of the items, all of the dates, the all of the hidden rooms unlocked. Why do you need it in true hundo? Because it's a category requirement. It was agreed upon as part of the requirements for the category. Like Mystery Man Room. Mystery Man Room is a fun value event, and fun value events are specifically discluded from True Hundo. That would make the speedrun category absolutely terrible, and would nobody would ever run it because it's just completely genuinely terrible. So, all of the all of the fun value fun events are discluded. By hidden rooms, I am talking about Sans's workshop, uh, the deep the developer room, um, stuff like that. Uh, Metaton's house. Metaton's house! Oh my god! <laughs> so, fun story. The first time I ran True Hundo in 2016, uh, the requirement for the category specifically stated all hidden rooms had to be unlocked. So it turns out it wasn't in the route document to go back and actually unlock the house. I was I bought the key as as according to the route and I asked Ocean in the chat while I was doing it I said, "Wait, do I need to go unlock the room? I mean the requirements for the category state that I do, but it's not in the route." So I played it safe. I said, "Okay, I'm just going to go unlock the room." Yeah, it turns out every other run of the category was uh invalid after that. Mine was the only singular run that stayed because of that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yep. Uh, I accidentally, uh, the small accidental discovery that uh, completely invalidated all other runs of the category. <laughs> Even then, it didn't end up mattering, because even without that, the rest of them were still invalid, because none of them actually got the no-save endings. The old route started with hard mode, then did no-save branch. Somehow, the people who wrote the route, and the multiple people who have run the category, never actually checked to make sure they were getting the no-save ending, because they weren't. They had the hard mode save in there, and that was causing them to Five not get the ending. already? What the hell? Hire E. Shea less than three Tism for being here. Yes, that is exactly what legit and not legit means. We decided to not just delete them, so we added a not legit variable. Yo, Layla with the five months. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. Very sweet of you. If you can't get world record, invalidate any other run. Well, I mean, even if I didn't invalidate the other runs, my runs were still world records both times. <laughs> so... Even if the other runs stayed, my runs were still record. It didn't matter. I was just focused on not making any mistakes myself. And so far, both of my runs have stood the test of time, somehow. I somehow went through it without making any mistakes. Caster! Fuck. One day, maybe. True Hundo isn't a category you can grind. I have done True Hundo twice in my entire career. Uh, it is not a category you grind. Yeah, it's, you do it on a special occasion. It is something that requires almost weeks of planning in advance to make sure that you're actually physically able to make it through. I mean, that is 26, 27 hours at the highest level of the game. It's a two-day endeavor in which you're going to be streaming for a huge chunk of time. 
You obviously need to be able to ensure that you have enough to eat that's easy to eat. So like Lunchables, my strat is always Lunchables. Uh, make sure you have enough to drink nearby. You know, all that stuff. And a lot of planning goes into it. You get a sleep break? Yep, you get a 12 hour sleep break. We recently redid the break rules to allow longer amounts of breaking as well. Uh, if your category goes longer than expected, you gain breaks, depending on how long your run is. It used to be, the old rules is that you got one eight hour break and that was it. When I did True Hundo for the first time, I said, that's horse shit. We're changing this to a 12 hour. So I brute forced it and told the other mods, I said, hey, we need to change this to 12 hours. I don't care if it's copium, it's ridiculous that it's only eight hours. We should not be encouraging people to not get enough sleep to run this category. So we changed it from eight hours to 12 hours and then recently we redid it again to add like a pool system, kind of like how Breath of the Wild does it. Hi Minus, how are you doing cutie? Yo, what's up Linguini? Yeah, eight hours was just not enough time. It just wasn't. You're supposed to sleep for eight hours. <laughs> you are supposed to have eight hours of being asleep. Not get off the game, end your stream, blah, 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 blah. Do all the stuff, then go to bed for like six hours, wake up, eat. Like, we, we shouldn't be encouraging people to be unhealthy to run a category. That's insane. There are people, there are some people who think that uh, breaks shouldn't be in long categories. Those people are stupid. If you believe that, you're, go back to 2008, go back to Twin Galaxies, please. Your, uh, your mindset is incredibly archaic and you need to grow up. Oh, but it goes against the spirit of the category. Okay, my fucking dick goes against the spirit of the category. <laughs> we shouldn't be encouraging people to be unhealthy to play a fucking video game, man. Like, what? what is wrong with you? I mean, if you want to run it without breaks, that's your decision. That is your choice. If you want to do that. But to say that other people need to do that to be competitive is preposterous just absolutely ridiculous you can get a variable that says hey i did this without sleeping which is why we have that hundo variable of the uh, rta or not rta like signifies whether or not you used a break but that variable doesn't have any impact on that your on your ranking on the boards like yeah I don't know. As a moderator for the game, I don't want to encourage people to be unhealthy just to compete. That's insane. Especially for a category like True Hundo, that's more of an exhibition than anything else. Nice, got it. Cool. I just got four 20 second ads in a row. Yeah, I run a minute and 30 seconds of ads every 30 minutes. Uh, that keeps pre-roll ads gone. If you don't know, pre-roll ads are when you click on the stream and it immediately plays ads. That is just very terrible for viewer experience. So. I run ads every 30 minutes, just a minute and a half of them. Uh, I have to, actually, it's part of my contract. Ads have to be here, so I try to make them as least intrusive as possible. I know they're still annoying, I, I understand. Not too much I can do about that though, unfortunately, not at this moment anyway. I am being trying to be as considerate as possible, though, while also acknowledging that I do need to make money off of what I am doing here. If I could, I would do content pauses during ad breaks. Unfortunately, I speedrun, so...
There are a lot of free ways to get around advertisements, and of course, you can always subscribe to the channel and you'll never get ads. Yo, Benjamin, thank you for the rate of five. I appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream, bud. Hope you've been doing well. But yeah, I just, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty, like, opinionated about the whole break thing, but we shouldn't be encouraging people to not be healthy. That's insane. So, our current break system, I really like the current system we have for True Hundo. Or there's a pool of breaks. This gives you plenty of time to, you know, use the bathroom, sleep when you need to, eat when you need to while still maintaining the whole, like, long session thing. As for single, as for regular categories, I think this category is the absolute limit as far as that should go. Like, how long a category needs to be to constitute a break. If AME was any longer than it was, then I'd say we should add break rules. But uh, this category is just about as long as it should get with no breaks, in my opinion. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Norris. That's good. Yeah, shoutouts to your manager. That's very uh, responsible of her to do that. Because, yeah, they should pay for that. They absolutely should. They got you out of your out of your house and got you doing three hours of trips just to get to work and then you don't end up having to work. It's like, really? I went all the way out of my way to get here. But, yeah. If, if uh, so, AME glitchless. Uh, if we ever add AME glitchless... It's going to have breaks in it. I took a break, even in my in my own run. I took a break in the in the run I posted at YouTube. That run, I took a quick bathroom break because I just I really needed to be. But like that run at the highest level is six hours long. For a lower level runner, that could be eight hours. And expecting a, somebody to do an eight hour run of a game without even as much as a food or bathroom break is like, come on now, really. Yeah, I agree. It doesn't need, like, a sleep break, but it should have, like, an eat or bathroom break. I'm just not old-fashioned when it comes to that. I don't know. I've met people who are like, well, the whole point of the category is to endurance. And it's like, well, if your body's telling you you need to go to the bathroom or that you need to eat, well, you need to eat. Your, your health is more important than whether or not you took... Five minutes of break time in an eight-hour speed run that six people have run ever in the history of the game. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to give yourself a UTI. I don't know, Ocean. I would like to think that, but I, I know that there's some like old boy pride type stuff out there in speedrunning still. That does still exist. It's around and some people still spread it like that. I mean, if you're proud of not taking breaks, then like congratulations, that's good for you, but don't expect it from other people. Right. And also, you see the slippery slope argument come out a lot, where it's like, well, if we're allowing, if we're allowing breaks in the categories, then what's going to stop it from becoming a segmented run? It's like, come on. <laughs> God, you're a fucking speedrunner, not a Republican sen senator from fucking Kentucky, dude. Come on. <laughs> what is this half measure bullshit? <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, also, there's a lot of games that have, like, long cutscenes. Like, we're not going to need to implement this into Deltarune, because Deltarune has a bathroom break. It's called the Roaring. <laughs> we're not going to need to add a bathroom break to Deltarune, especially if it has any other cutscenes like that. Because it already has one in it. But this game doesn't. This game has almost no downtime. The most downtime this category has is leaving the ruins. I'm dead serious. <gasps> uh. Okay, everything's fine. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> everything's fine. I thought I just fucked up there, but everything's okay. Whew. Huh. Oh. Jesus. That was scary. That was scary. Everything's okay. Just a minor like 10 second thing, but that's much better than losing the run. <laughs> okay, everything's okay. AME used to have a 10 minute break. It did have the soulless thing, yeah. But due to the nature of the category, that had to come really late into the category. That was like six hours in. <laughs> but yeah, it did used to have the 10 minute break. Because uh, back in the day, this category used to have the soulless endings as part of it. This was stupid. I don't know why they did that. And it was taken out because it was stupid. I mean, I can understand it, you know. You're like, well, it should be included. They're endings. It's like, okay, they are endings, but do they qualify as major? I mean, they're identical to their regular counterparts, except for some slightly altered text. Uh, Soulless Geno has more of an argument than Soulless Pacifist, which doesn't even change anything in the actual game time itself. But, uh, yeah. All endings used to include Soulless Pacifist and Soulless Geno. So what this translated to is the exact same run you see here, except instead of ending on extent of ending, you have to do Pacifist and Geno a second time. So you just do the family ending again. And you do the Geno ending again. <laughs> it's like, wait, what's the point of this? There was also all tw there was also a 20 endings category. Uh, that one I don't think was ever on the boards, but it was uh, ran by Tux Whistle at one point. Uh, that's why if you've ever heard the phrase Tux all endings, that is what I am referring to. Which 20 they were? I have no idea. <laughs> Not even I have absolutely no idea what those endings even were. It was really interesting, though. There were a lot of, uh... I don't know. We've definitely slimmed down on the amount of weird categories. So, uh, flashbacks to before the punch card exploit was found. The main category of the game... ...was neutral glitchless, which was just called neutral back then. Actually, I think genocide was the main category. I can't remember it. I, I feel like I recall Geno being main category at one point, though. Uh, so yeah, you had neutral glitchless, which was just neutral. Uh, TPE, which didn't have the punch card. The only skip in the run was a lab skip. Um, <laughs> genocide, of course. And of course, the fourth main category, all yellow credits. Bring it back, baby. All yellow credits was a main category. Can you believe that? And then it was voted to be taken off. There was one single person on the mod team at the time who didn't want it to not be a main category. The most based person, TGH. 
didn't want AYC to be removed from main, and he was right. He was right, damn it. I know how he feels. I know how he feels because I'm the only person in existence who likes AME anymore, man. Not AME, sorry, AYC. Bring it back, baby. Oh, I have to do this cutscene. All the other credits is a fun speedrun. And honestly, it's become a little bit more distinct from regular pacifist as the time goes by. For instance, AYC doesn't have MDS in it. When was the last time you ran AYC? Uh, competitively? Maybe three years ago? <laughs> I've never been touched in that category, so I've never found a need to go back and defend it, but maybe one day I'll sit down and finally get sub 130. I feel like I'm gonna run that category and it's just gonna like, I I'm gonna PB by like three minutes. <laughs> Yeah, MDS will give you the white dummy credit. Um, not because, uh, because uh, in order to get dummy yellow credit, you have to talk to the dummy during the fight. And uh, you can't do that if you do MDS. You have to talk to them and then finish the fight in the same sitting. So even if you talk to them and die, it doesn't count. Which is kind of mean, to be honest with you, because a lot of people playing casually may have talked to the dummy and then died and then saw that it did nothing and didn't do it the second time. It's honestly kind of a weird decision. I don't think that was very well thought out. Sorry, Toby. I have to point out flaws when I see him. I don't like I don't like Mad Dummy's yellow credit requirement. I think it's stupid. How long would all text boxes take? Okay. So did you know that there's a special text box in the game if you try to buy Sans's fried snow for fifty thousand gold in Snowden? I mean, do you enjoy grinding enemies for nine hours to get one text box? <laughs> because if you progress to a certain point, Sans won't be there anymore. That the amount of time you have to get that text is limited. You have to have 50,000 gold before progressing. So you have to sit there and grind and grind and grind. Because if you're able to afford the fried snow, there's special dialogue. He'll say, no, I'm not willing to sell it. It has sentiment, uh, se se said sentimental value. You can do fancy persistent stuff. Wait, how? <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, I'll, try, I'll take your word for it. Does all text boxes include the if you're seeing this, I made a mistake? Yep. That one's easy. Oh, that one doesn't take much time to get at all. I, f I actually found the setup for how to find that, for how to get that text box. Uh, RTA, anyway. I believe it was discovered in TAS, but I, I was the one who made the RTA setup for it. You have to, uh, when you go to the artifact room, the dog gets added from your inventory, and when you leave the room, it gets deleted from your inventory. Uh, so... You use the punch card to get the menu open while you're in the screen transition, and then hover over the dog with your cursor. And what will happen is that the dog is going to get- Hi Shay, he has Undertale today. It's done. Heart, fire, Aww. heart, fire, heart, fire. Yeah, mage, it's going great. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for the five months. I hope you're having a wonderful one. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you hover over the dog, it'll get deleted from your inventory. Uh, but your cursor will still stay over the slot that it was in, so you'll be over hovering over a null item, and then you can info that to get that line of text. And the text box says, uh, if you are reading this, I messed up somehow.
Mystery Man doesn't have text. You would not need that for all text boxes. However, you would need Sound Test, which is one in uh, 200, I believe. Remind me how to get Grievous Error. Oh, that one's pretty simple. You uh, start the Sands date at Grillby's and then save while it's beginning. Uh, the flag for the date is set, but then you save and you'll reload in that room. And because the flag for the date is set, uh, the game assumes the date has started, but Sands will still be there. And if you talk to him, he gives you Grievous Error. Your voice is nice. Aw, you're adorable. You're nice. Yes, you can do RNG minute for your fun value. That's a thing. Shout outs to Colinator. Okay, let's not lose a billion years in Exile Queen today, please. <laughs> let's do this. Nice. These first three quads, you need to hit. After that, you don't have to hit any until the Night Night Magic. Fuck. Oh, never mind. I guess you don't have to hit the second quad. You do have to quad this guy, though. Nice. Got it. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> So, betrayed our uh, exiled queen here, we need to get 10 kills. Yeah, Colonator's a miracle worker. I love that guy. Ocean, did you add him yet, by the way? Not yet, okay. Okay, we're gonna go for the Shea special again because I would I would never get fucking punished twice two runs in a row, surely not. Nice. Big two thirty. Exactly 10? No, it's not. A, it's 10 or more. Not exactly 10. If I get a fucking single here, I swear to God. This is what happened yesterday, but surely it won't happen again. Alright. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, go for Whims a lot here. Don't even risk it on astigmatism. Well, I mean, I ended up ended I, I ended up going even from this because of this extra turn, but I actually think astigmatism's attacks are shorter than night night, so I think it still saved time. Which is not as much, but it's definitely better than losing a minute. Yeah, Ocean. The way I feel about it is that if me, you, and Star agree on something, then just you can go, you can go ahead and do it. That's enough. Willie as well, of course. What's record? Uh, 43107 by Shea.
I love referring to myself in the third person. They call me M Sushi. Shoutouts to M Sushi referring to himself as, as M Sushi in one of his videos. Hey, so remember when this run lost 50 seconds in Alfie's ending? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of funny, wasn't it? <laughs> she seems like the kind of guy to beg for a $5 sub. The dollar sign comes before the number. I mean, why would I need to beg for a $5 gift sub? I can demand it and my chat will obey and give it to me. Isn't that right, chat? It was a joke? Oh, I know you're joking. Don't worry, I am joking as well. I am extending upon your bit. Sorry if you thought I was being serious. This is the last Asgore of the run, by the way. Yo, auto lysis, thank you for the gift sub. See, told you guys. The last Asgore of the run, baby. Yes, sir. There we go. <laughs> now that's a way to end it. Yeah, about going- I'm going about time even. That, that was a very good Exiled Queen. Only one mistake, which was the one whiff on a Stig, and that was it. That was pretty much good. Of course, I'm gonna lose just a little bit to getting a triple encounter, but that's- that's totally fine. Alright, let's rock. That's fine. That one's okay to miss. Anyway, as, as I was saying, I don't pay. <laughs> okay, Xander, give me a sub. Chop, chop. Okay, I did not get stuck in Papyrus's ass. There's the beware, the man that speaks in hands. Yeah, it happens every once in a while. Yo, Sylvie with the gifts of the Xander. I don't know what the punch card does. It lets you walk during cutscenes. Uh, to, to put it in the simplest turns, it lets you walk when you're not supposed to, and the game really has a fit when you do that. Did you know that the transition screen from screen to screen, the fade out, is also a cutscene? And if you walk during that, the game doesn't like it, and it wrong warps you instead. Yeah, Xander with the gifts up to Just Miz. Thank you so much. Yo, there's a hype train. When the train is hype? When the train is hype?
Hey, everybody in chat, look at the stack of tea boxes on the counter. Notice how the four of them, look at the one that's the same color as the table. Isn't it crazy? Wow, it's transparent. Wow, it's green. That's crazy how that happened. Uh, I did not, I, I saw that they released a video of him, but I need to actually look, uh, V. Forty-two keystrokes a second. Damn. Damn, this girl this guy's girlfriend must be happy. As a matter of fact, she is. Yeah, what's up, slime bunny? Undertale. Yo, true. When the tail is under. Chat, there is two minutes and 38 seconds to expand, expand, extend the lifetime of this train. Will the train reach its destination? Or will it just get bought out and not go anywhere? Just like our supply chain in America. She under on my tail till I'm Toby Fox. Eh. She spam on my taunt till I big shot. Turn off emote only mode, you coward. Yo, Ray with the 200 bits. Thank you so much, sweetie. Appreciate you. Ooh, whistle. Chug boy! Why, why do I keep going for that wrong warp? It doesn't save time! Stop this! Star Smiley is super cool. I love her. She's the most amazing person I've ever met in my life. It's a lab in time.
True laboratory. In the laboratory! Alright, let's not fucking die to memory head. That'd suck shit, wouldn't it? Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me, please. Don't kill me, please. How do I dodge that? I don't know. It's okay, we'll save before endogony skip, so we'll heal up anyway. Hi, I'm off work. Hey, Sarah. Hope you're doing well. Please don't bully me for having a small D. Uh, Sylvie? <laughs> um. <laughs> Here we go. Funny. Nice, got it. Wunderbar. Nah, okay, that's out of pocket, but also based. Auto, auto, auto. That's out of pocket, but that's also based. Let's not talk about that in, in a family-friendly Twitch chat. But that is based. I'm happy for you, but, uh... Right input key just decided uh, it wasn't gonna accept inputs today. <laughs> I pressed right and the game said, nah, nah fam. Said, nah fam. What order do you complete these endings? If you look below my uh, beautiful face, uh, you'll see the order. Papyrus, Alphys, Geno, Undyne, Metaton, Dog, No King, Family, Exiled Queen, and we're ending with True Pacifist. Okay. Cool. Hope that helps, Suki. Also, hi, I hope you're doing well. That was a okay True Lab. It wasn't amazing. I got a. Me, 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 me. All right. Have a good night, Abby. Hope you sleep wonderfully. Shout out to APT Rock, baby. Stick drop. Stick drop. <laughs> That's not where the category ends. That didn't affect the time, by the way, don't worry. Live split keeps your time running, even if you do the final split, don't worry. What's up, Pixie? Thanks for the good luck. Nah, it's not that bad. Nothing's been too bad today. I had to shut down one joke, but that was all. Chat's been well behaved today for the most part.
I will say, um, if a message gets deleted in my chat, please don't go back and put it in the chat quotes uh, in my Discord server, please. Because if it was deleted, it was deleted for a reason. If you do that, your message will probably get deleted from there, too. Please don't do that. Sorry, uh, you're good. I don't want. I don't want to call out anybody in particular. I just want to make sure that's understood. I'm not mad at anybody. Thumbs up emoji. I don't want my job to be any harder for my mods because my mods do a lot of work to keep things running here. You're good, speed. No worries at all, man. You're totally fine. You're fine, Sylvie. Don't worry about it. What's up, Zan? Uh, what's up, Wolfel? Someone got mad at me for having a Patreon. Listen. If Toby Fox has a problem with that, then he can contact you about it. Nobody else has the right to get pissy about that. Uh, coolest pip, don't think about it too hard. <laughs> I, I joke about that all the time, too. Oh, so when I'm the bad guy, you're all like, Oh, you wanna have a bad time? But when Flowey's the bad guy, it's all like, Oh, I'm so helpless. Woe is me. Here we go. Yeah, I was a frame earlier there. What is that emote? Wait, is that the fucking Morbius movie? Oh my god, it is! Dude, uh, hold on, he's about to- wait, he's about to morb! This is the part where he morbs!
<laughs> I'm so proud of this community. Uh, what is that? Brother. That shit curved. Galactica blazing my fucking dick, bro. I hate that attack. Those stars just have the weirdest curve. Yeah, what's up, The Fix? <laughs> yeah. There's not much to do during Azrael because I have to focus on the game and not getting hit. So my chat just likes to spam shit. Because Azrael takes most of my attention here. making me slim down a little bit there, bud. Christ. Alright. It's not gonna hit. Good first. That's fine. Clipped. That's a shame. I should have just taken the death there. That's okay. Uh, not a super big deal. Unfortunate though. It was right at the end. I barely got clipped by the bottom of that meteor. This is going to be close on sub 430 chat. Pi is in slot two. I dropped the stick. Oh, that was good. Pretty good. All right, we're good. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be sub 430. It's gonna be really, really close. <laughs> like it's gonna be crazy close. That Azrael death complicates things a little bit. It's unfortunate that that happened, but.
L. <laughs> I forgot my fucking name was L. <laughs> oh, brother. Sus. Mongols. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> Sub 430 AME. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let's go! It happened! <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, jeez, man. Sub 430, I can't believe it! This category was five hours when I started speedrunning this game, dude! Look how far we've come. Unbelievable. Holy shit, yo, Ray, thank you for the thousand bits. You sure shaved off a lot of time, ha <laughs> ha! Oh man, that's crazy. Sub 430. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a pose for this screenshot. Oh, well, let me get a better credits picture. There we go, that one's good. Sub 430, let's go. Whew! That is insane. What a run, dude.
to think that there's still mistakes in this run, but really the only major thing was the Alfie's ending thing with the, the Sans judgment dialogue. That was it. Other than that, this run was really solid, like no mistakes throughout, just very good performance the whole thing. I knew I needed to run it back. Like it up, chat. Whoa, hello. There we go. Like it up, chat. Like it up. So guys, we did it. We reached sub 430. <laughs> did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all this for good. Chat, I have just one thing to say. It's Mormon time! Woo! Entire Morbius movie! Soda! <laughs> Oh, I'm going to snooze this ad break. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you're good, chat. Good work. I'm proud of you. That's enough. Oh, damn, that feels good. Felt good to come back and fucking win, baby. It felt good to come back and win. Eh, I thought I was washed up. But I'm the best I've ever been, baby. Let's fucking go. What a great run. Yo, shout outs to Jeremy Ogden Bazzini Ellis! Did you know that Jeremy Ogden Bazzini Ellis has a IMDP page that lists their appearance in the Undertale credits?
Do they have any other entries? Nah. Thanks, Kiwi. I appreciate it. Yo, Peyton, thank you. Ah. <sighs> 